Available you. Available everywhere with the iHeartRadio app. Now number one for podcasting. Fox Sports 940 Miami. It's time for the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. Me, there's nothing better than spend all of my time out on the water. With waterman Eric Brandon. Because that's where I get my kicks out on the water. And extreme angler Joe Hector. Hey, it's my Call your resident fishing experts, Eric and Joe, at 866-801-0940 and get hooked up. You know where we'd be spending our weekend. Want to see the show live? Go to the Nautical Ventures Facebook page. Don't want to waste my time or a single dime on something high and dry out on the water. Yeah, baby, baby. Welcome back to the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. Into year 17, officially right now. Long time talking fishing for 17 years. Who would have thunk, right? I wasn't there, so I don't know. You weren't even born, were you? Not really. We had this age thing going on. Yeah. Oh, somebody, look who already somebody, screwed uh, up the show. It's my phone already again <laughs> with the damn volume control. Anyway, welcome to the show, folks. Nautical Ventures is where you catch the Facebook stream live feed. Yeah. And, of course, on Sports Powerhouse 940. W-I-N-Z. Yeah. To my right, my good friend, uh, Joe Hector. Good morning, Joey. Hello. How you doing, bud? You know, I'm doing really good this morning. Yeah. I saw the, the evil, Aaron Rodgers thing going on with face, the Raiders. Oh, uh, there's another rumor about Brady with Fox Sports, oh, mm-hmm. Weekly Fisherman. <laughs> Did you hear about this stuff? <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> Once I had Eric back at 940 for being a trooper waking up early. Okay. Oh, He's the quarterback of this show back there. Yes, okay? he is. You know. He's and, like uh, uh, Rogers. And he's sort of like the coach. He coaches us two dysfunctional dudes every it's weekend. True. It's Stephen true. J. Gray. Good morning, yeah. sir. I think yeah. I'm more like the referee, man. That's you know? true. Yeah, yeah, you're calling balls and strikes. Yeah. And I'm more like... Um, you're like the water boy. That's like, oh, geez, okay. that's just wrong. You're the, you're the water boy, boy. <laughs> wow. Okay. That's what you I'm are. like uh, okay, Zavante no, Adams. You're the you guy know, that's in the, the locker room handing out jock straps. Oh, oh my You hear this guy? That, that's after they're worn, okay? You guys hear this? Wow. Okay. You're taking the dirty jock straps and putting those in the laundry machine. Unbelievable, man. Anyway, so, okay. Jeez. We got some fishing news coming up on the show. Do you want to talk football later, or what do you want to do? No, let's do it now. Hey, by the way, we got some weather news this weekend, too. The radar is going to be popping in between you guys during most of the show. Not a good weekend for uh, no. offshore stuff. Uh, make 80%. sure you have that waterproof hairspray on my head, man. That's for damn uh, sure. Yeah, you're going to need that. Just get it out real quick for Jimbo. He's holding on line one. What the hell All football right. crap do you want to talk about? We got two things real quick. Hurry Number up. one, it's looking like Aaron Rodgers is going to be... Yeah. A Raider. A Raider, baby! whoop de doo You hear this? I'm, I'm so excited, okay? I am like... What's the other one, Joe? Okay, the other one Get is... Get off your chest. This, now, Steven and I have both been texting all week oh, hearing yeah. about this. this. Is, uh, guess, this is who's, guess who's signing a big contract with Fox Sports and is looking like to be the new host... Of the Weekly Fisherman Show. Yeah. Why well, don't Tom Brady sign Tom seven. Brady, man. $347 million oh, contract. Bring him in. What do you mean new host? Somebody, somebody's you hear get, about this? Somebody's going to get Bradied, man. What do you, you, well, you mean somebody's <laughs> replacing you? <laughs> no, man. He's a, he's the king. He's, he's coming in. He's, <laughs> Let me tell you something. You I, put, already you, got a, you, I got you a put, text from Brady the other yeah, night. He okay. said, yo, Joe, been watching the show. You know, we I got some ideas. All We're right. going to spring them off each other. You bring Brady on the set, and I'm going to whip his ass, okay? Okay, we're going to go at it, okay? So just keep the Brady thing. Uh, By the way, he, he's going to make more money being a sportscaster. He's going to Brady some of the other sportscasters than, than he's making in, in football. Yeah. So yeah. you heard about that? Yeah, yeah. About That's that. real. All right, so we're a yeah. fishing show. Called some guys Not last really. night. Okay. Yeah. Well, we are. Talk sort of. All let's, kinds of things. Let's, yeah. yeah. Kind of a hodgepodge thing. Yeah. Uh, Jimbo, I talked last night. Said Jimbo! Things are, things are kind of like mediocre. You know, whatever. It's a fairly moderate concoction going on out there. Norm right Beckoff now. said uh, last week he called it sucks. This week he calls it not sucks. Yeah. Okay. His son's doing pretty good, though. You hear about that? I heard about his He's got new... his own charter thing going yeah, on now. He's doing great. Yeah. He's playing the guitar. Yeah, I heard it. Yeah. Well, I want to bring on the number one guy who's just sitting you know, patiently waiting Let's for us to sh- shut, our, I, shut our face, okay? Let's do it. How about you do the intro this time? All right. Here's the one, <laughs> the only, on the Thomas Flyer, Jimbo uh, Thomas, the man. I don't know. I don't know. 
You feeling that? I felt that with doubt in my groin. Jimbo, man. you feeling that? Yeah, I just pulled a groin muscle. No, not really. Yeah, kinda, it wasn't. Kind of lame, kind of lame. I, I agree. What's it take to make lame. you happy with the intro, man? I've got to, like, I've made a, him happy have plenty a whole of times. orchestra here and have a whole band, oh, band I'm, playing? I'm not unhappy. It's just kind of lame. He's just disappointed, <laughs> Eric. He's not mad. He's disappointed. I love Jimbo. He talks it straight, man. So yeah. if it's lame, it's lame. Okay, whatever, right. Jimmy. Good morning to you, brother. Good morning, guys. So, um, it doesn't look like it's the hurricane that the weather was predicting, at least not yet. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's supposed crappy. to be rainy. It could be wrong, but we got scared off by the weather report, so we are not going out today. Okay. Mm. But uh, it doesn't look like it's as bad as that, what they're saying. But it, that could change. I well, see there's a lot of rain offshore. You're in Miami, so I, I noticed, because uh, when I was waking up early this morning to drive over here, uh, I'm in, all the way in Deerfield, and it was pouring, man. I mean, like, uh-huh. cats and dogs. So it's, I mean, I don't know if it's moving down or up. I, I have no idea, but it's up by me. Yeah, it's pretty what bad. it is. Yeah. How's the fishing? I'm going to work on some fishing tackle. Well, I've been out every day this week, uh, both inshore for fun and uh, offshore for work yeah and it's it's still just been kind of so so there's been a, a few decent catches uh yesterday there was a, a fair not a fair amount but a few sails caught okay it was real calm but we had nice weather all week so it was calm yesterday and i did not catch any of the sails yesterday but the couple that i heard of caught or the few were on free jumpers so with it being calm you were able to see the of splash or any commotion if there was a sailfish free jumping. Yeah. And if you were able to get set up in front of them with some live baits, there's a good chance that you would get a bite. I did not see any free jumpers, but that's the bulk of them that were caught were on free jumpers, it sounds like. Uh, otherwise, there's just been a few dolphin, very few that is, um, stray dolphin, some kings, and some black fin tunas if you can stay out late, late in the day. Uh, I've been dropping on the wrecks more than anything. I had half days, the, the offshore trips I had, so I didn't have time to go too far. And we're dropping on wrecks, seeing if we can get an amber jack just to bend a rod, an uh, Almaco jack. But we've been catching some big red snappers. What? Oh, nice. Yeah. I mean, like 18, 20 pounders. Damam. What? Got Here? Got to throw, throw them back, yeah. man. Oh, we're not allowed to keep them. You gotta throw them back. Throw them back, man. Yeah, that sucks. So uh, I mean, they're beautiful fish. They're they're nice to catch, (laughs) but you know, it it really sucks that we gotta let them go. Yeah, Uh, we have a we have a sequelizer. Most of these these red snappers get down pretty good. They some of them blow up, but the bulk of them are, are pretty good. So we use our sequelizer to get them back down, to recompress them, and hopefully they don't get eaten by a shark or something else on the way down. That's out of our control, obviously. Right. But, uh, yeah, so some some nice red snapper in the last uh, two weeks, we probably let go six or eight of them. Damn, man. And, uh, and also uh, some black groupers. And it, not just me. I've seen, seen the reports and talked to other captains, and they've had the same thing, letting go big... <laughs> big snappers and some nice groupers so uh one day maybe they'll open that season and we'll be allowed to keep one or two or whatever the case might be maybe should have a brand new saying on his boat like fish on a thomas flyer we catch fish and let them go <laughs> right <laughs> yeah well you know i'm not opposed to letting them go and and i i told i i tell my guests you know half the time they're like hey well, what do we fish for and i said you know we fish for anything that's dumb enough to bite i'm not proud Huh. And uh, I said, there's only two fish we can't keep right now, and that's a red snapper and a grouper. And we drop <laughs> down first drop and catch a nice grouper. Well, that's, that's one get. of the two. And, yep. you know, the next drop we catch a big snapper. So, well, we knocked those off the list. <laughs> so the bottom so, fishing all in all has been pretty good, though. Yeah. It's, yes, it has been. And not great, but, it you know, the few fish that we've been catching have been class fish. Right. But we can't keep them. Man. And I mean, those are the rules, and uh, that's that's why we're seeing those red snappers is because nobody's been allowed to catch them for, I don't know if it's been 10 years or 15 years, but it's been a long time. There's the fingers. J- so, J- uh, Jimbo, 
real quick. Yeah. What, what do you think the chances are that the snapper survive when you release them? Honestly, like, what do you? Fifty, fifty, sixty, forty. I think it's a little better than that. You know, some of them though, you get, you can tell that they're pretty blown up, uh, barotrauma, and and it's just, you know, I feel like, oh, this guy's in pretty bad shape. But then the next one is, you don't even need to use a uh, anything to get them down. They get down on the very young, so those okay. those are pretty good, and that's the bulk of them. Okay. All so, right, cool. uh, but you know, the, the, there are studies from what I've read show that. You know, even if they're really blown up, if you can get them back down there, that they have a good chance of survival, uh, whether they get eaten by a shark or something. But, yeah, you know, there we can't keep them. We can't keep them all. We can do is hope for the best. <laughs> right. Okay. All cool. right, Jim Bolas, I guess enjoy your day off from fishing, man. Maybe just hang around the house, do some yard work or, you know. No, honey, no, no. No. <laughs> no. Honey, do no. chores, maybe paint a wall or no. something. I don't know, man. Negative. Uh, I'm gonna. I'll find. I'll find. Find something uh, nautical to do. <laughs> All right, man. Paint we'll a wall. <laughs> I'll paint a bathroom. Paint a wall or something. Whatever. Like, who man. says that? Mm, I don't, it's first thing came to my small brain. Anyway, Jimbo, thank you for being number one in the shoot every weekend, bro. You're the man. Thanks yeah, so paint much. Paint a wall, Jimbo. All right, paint a wall. <laughs> you got it, guys. Good luck, everybody. <laughs> See you, bud. All right. So this hour, man, we have some fun stuff coming up. Of course, all of our captains are lined up. We have the Starbright Bucket Teaser at six forty-five. You have hey, the trivia question I today. Do? Yes, you do. Oh, that's exciting. You didn't see the memo? No. I, well, I, wrote I got it. it. I, I know. I know. I, I wrote it for you, man. I got it. How much it's easier good. can that be? No, it'll be great. Okay. It's a good, I got it. It's, you even yes. sent me back a text saying, If I, I mess this up, I love though, this one, man. If I mess this up, it's on you. This was your... You said, Joe, this will be great. I agree with you. You mess this up, I man. like it. You mess this up. Tom Brady has your chair next weekend, okay? Yeah. Just so you know. I know. Okay. You already fired me from the stories. <laughs> Jeez. Those are just like long Those are amazing. Meandering. They were awesome. All right, so everybody, good morning to you, man. The show's just kicking off here at Fox Sports 940. Live. 100 million people really love this guy. That's called leadership. Really? 200 million? Aggressive leadership. Really? Infinite number of people love this guy. It's okay, don't be mad. He's Colin Cowherd. Colin Cowherd. Colin. Colin says it all the time. And his name is said at least four times an hour and straight out of Vegas. Colin. Are you kidding me? Join the billions of people that listen to the herd right here. Weekdays at noon on Fox Sports 940 Miami. Power without compromise. Welcome to Simrad NSS Evo 3S. Designed for all-out speed and performance. The fastest processing and chart rendering speeds with seamless network and integration, plus powerful sonar support from coastal to offshore. Now at the lowest price ever, save up to $1,100 on NSS Evo 3S. To build your perfect fishing system, navigate to simrad-yachting.com. South Florida fishermen know that this is blue water country, where big fish, big water, and big expectations sit right offshore. So we build blue water boats for the blue water fishermen, where yacht grade construction meets 21st century technology. And compromise? Well, we leave that for the other guys. You can customize your own blue water boat by visiting bluewatersportfishingboats.com and discover why boating is better on a blue water. Hear that? That's the sound of confidence. The sound of confidence brought to you by Nationwide Battery. For over 30 years, boaters and fishermen have counted on Nationwide to fire up their engines, to keep their electronics going, week after week, year after year. They have the largest selection of batteries at the best prices. With dockside installation available, if you count on your boat, then count on Nationwide Battery. Visit them at nationwide-battery.com. Nationwide Batteries. The sound of confidence. First, you made Dan Patrick the most listened to morning sports talk. Good for Dan. I root for everybody. And now you lovingly embrace Colin Cowherd. Good God, folks. Thank you for everybody that has accepted us. Weekday mornings, 9 a.m. on Fox Sports 940 Miami. I light the night for my grandfather. Yipper. Okay, so let's say hi to our streamers, Joey. All right, hold on. Can you start it? Because I'm just finishing this post. Okay, so Karen Kubinak's always first on the show. Thank you, Karen, very much. Elon Talbert's checking us Come out. Elon! Elon. Ozzy Ochoa. Ozzy, Ozzy, my man. What's up, bro? 
Helen Whitmer, always out there, man. Always a big supporter of the program. Oh, Shares man. my uh, Facebook feed every Friday. Clara Taylor. Uh, Lori Rawls. Hey, Lori. Good morning. Aaron Gibson. Um, uh, Richard Richard Hector. Hmm. Ooh, your biggest nemesis. Richard Hector. Uh, Charles Dean goes, awesome shirt, Eric. What kind of fish? I said it's a seeing eye fish. Oh, um, boy. For guys like me who are getting older and need to find their way around and not walk on the stuff, it's it's seeing for me. It's like a you know, seeing eye dog, mm-hmm. seeing eye fish. Right. Wah, wah, wah. Frank Ferraro's watching. Really? Hi, Frank. Yeah. He said, enjoy your last Frank. show. Frank. Hey, Frank had that cool, uh, he was uh, testing a cool electric boat this week. I saw, I saw that. That, that, that was, was awesome, badass. man. Yeah, He's really like, this is boat. my office. It was pretty cool. Uh, Power Core Rods, LLC. Warren. Good morning, fellas. Good my morning, man. Power Core. Alan Misai, good morning, fellas. Today's bucket question, what fish is on Eric's shirt? Ooh, <laughs> actually, that'd be a good one. Outdoor with Chris Wagner. Has his own show. Good morning, Chris. We have another another show guy out there, man. What's up? That's cool, man. Like that. Uh, I brought some things, by the way, on the show. Uh, that I wanted to hand out. One was a little gift for Stephen J. Gray. Oh, why am I? Why are you being so nice to me? What do I deserve a gift for? Well, that's not any big deal. Uh, I got you some really manly um, <laughs> pret- pretzillas. These, oh, these are uh, soft pretzel bread bites. Mm. Mm. They look mighty tasty, huh? Yeah, right? thank you. And I got something special for Joe, which I'll what you got. I'll bring back after the break here. Okay. Okay. It's hard to sleep on Friday night thinking about fishing on Saturday. It's the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. I can't function without my coffee. To talk fishing, call Eric Brandon and Joe Hector at 866-801-0940. Coffee is ready, sir. Listen on the radio or watch us on the Nautical Ventures Facebook page. The Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. Yeah, baby, welcome uh, back to the show. I had not said this to you, Joe, but happy belated birthday. Oh, thank you. Had a birthday last week, did you not? Yeah, yeah. happy birthday, Joe. Thank you. You thank turned you, a God. whopping, what, uh, 46? How old are you now? What was that? How old are you now? 46. Well, you act like you're three, but what's your real age? <laughs> it was actually a very big one. What is it? It's the, the end. The four zero. Yeah. No kidding, man. Yeah. You old bastard. Uh, how about that? And no! I brought I, I brought a something for you because I know how macho you are. This is your little gift for me. Really? I got you, you a get? nice tasty cakes pink snowballs treat, Joe. Oh, that's something I'll never eat. This okay. is that's, that's right up his alley there. Thank and, you. And for the macho Stephen J. Gray, I oh, got him geez. pretzillas, yes. soft pretzel bread bites, because that's oh, for a, the macho kind of guy. These from like the thank 40s. You, they look uh, old I, school. Hey, I'm going to go on ATV in this weekend, so I'm going to take those with me up the road. We'll be chowing down on that, man. Chow down, baby. Snowballs. All right, so next weekend, he's back in the jungle. He's uh, here for one more show before he leaves again. He's like never around, bro. Uh-oh. It's our fishing bass guy. Uh-huh. Yeah, the Z-Man. Hello. He's back. He's One back? Man. He's boys back. You guys going to give him a real He's back or what? He's leaving. You anyway, need- Alan, the Manzaremba, the Bass King, King of the Glades. <laughs> Boy, your intros have been spot on. Huh? Pretty weak. I, I, I am the snakehead king this week. Uh-huh. You were just a snakehead, dude. Uh-huh. Anyway, Alan, good morning to you, brother. <laughs> hey, bud. <laughs> How you guys doing? We're doing better than your knees. I heard you had some knee issues, huh? You got some knocking uh, knees going let's, on? Let's, let's not talk about that. I got bad wheels, and unfortunately, I got 35 years of standing up on a boat. has taken its toll on me. Oh. So, uh, and, I, and maybe it's the fall downs on my boat, too. You I know, was going to say, it's, Joe, it's 35 years of fall downs. And then he has to jump in the water and, and get his outboard motor back on his ginu. <laughs> oh, so no. Here that, we go. That lifting heavy, you, heavy lifting, man, oh. putting that back on is really going to be bad on the knees, you know? You know, he's you gonna, know that's, oh, that's better than the last wife I pulled out of the I water knew it. for you. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> you egg him on. If people are new to the brand new show, this uh, show here, uh, Alan's been busting my ass about my wife count for like the last five years. It just, just rolls it's on only and nine on. nine or ten. Whatever. It's only nine or ten. I mean, you're, you're trying to set a world record. Uh, Why don't you give us the best news and knock off the personal <laughs> crap, okay? <laughs> what are you, you catching, Al? Fight, 
the bass bite has not been bad because where I've been fishing in, like in the Boca areas, I've been catching. We're going for we're targeting steak heads a lot, so we're catching some bass. If we're using a lot of soft plastics uh, on the surface uh, for the steak heads, uh, but we've caught steak heads up this week to just under ten pounds. So it, it's it's been a really good bite that way. Uh, but we're getting some bass, and we're and we're occasionally getting some peacock bass. And uh, then to make things a little bit better, if I go out to the glades there, I got a, a couple areas where you can't keep the fish off, and if you're especially if you're fly fishing. So I mean, it's mainly Oscars, Mayan cichlids, uh, jaguar rapotes. Uh, there's some peacocks as well biting out there, and then some days the largemouth are biting. So it, it's been a pretty good bite where you find the water levels on a lower extreme. It, it, uh, the high water level areas are still a little bit limited, but uh, there's some fish being caught there, too. And it, That's like you know, the Holiday Park area. Yeah. Uh, we're catching peacocks out there still. Not like it was, because they lost a lot out there, but, mm-hmm. but they're, they're still biting. So there's still some there, and they survived, and uh, uh, they'll reproduce, and in the next couple of years, they'll probably be back to where they were pretty quickly. Wow. Well, that's so good there, news. There was, I guess there was a pretty big death, though, with them, right? Because I noticed even the lake by my my house, I mean, there was a lot of floaters this time, man. I don't think I've ever seen that many, to be honest. Well, 2010. You know, I, I don't know if you were here in 2010. No. No. Uh, we, we, we had, oh, they, they were, it was, that was the worst I've ever seen it. Uh, but but uh, in, in saying that, you know, within five years, they had bounced back everywhere out, you know, in the glades and all that stuff. So, yeah. Right. You can expect the same here. And in, in fact, here will be a little bit quicker because, yes, they did get killed off in spots, but it was not like 2010. Okay, cool. All right. So, uh, are you going back uh, to the jungle to catch more of those golden Dorados, or were, were you those fishing? Awesome. No, no, this this one we're going after uh, peacocks and pyaras, the Dracula fish. And uh, we're, we're targeting, uh, it is, it's in the in an Amazon-style area. It's not truly the Amazon where I'm fishing this trip. Yeah. It's on a river that kind of runs through the plains areas in Colombia. Uh, though when you're in the river, it looks like you're in the Amazon because the first 100 feet off the river is thick trees and that bit. But once you get further away from the river, it's drier conditions and you have uh, more uh, just open plains. And... and uh, uh, but but the fish, it's, it's they're beautiful peacock bass. They get up to 22, 23 pounds in this section, and it's a, more of a numbers fishery we're going to this trip. And I'll be gone until the 15th, so hopefully I'll have a good report back when I get back for you. And it, uh, So far this season, it's been great fishing for me, and I've been very lucky that way. And uh, I'm a lucky guy anyway. You know, I, look, I've only been married once. Oh, God. There you go. Wow. I was a little wow. lie. He's going to bring it, bring it back again. That? Okay? Wow. He just can't stop himself, can he, Joe? I, hey, you started it. But you like it. You like his digs, okay? I'm not saying you, no, you, that you I really, like it. I'm just you saying. You like his shots at me, okay? Well, I just want to say I don't well, like it. I really enjoy them. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Gray. Okay? Uh, he anyway, loves them. Anyway, yes. Al. So, have you become immune to the blow darts coming off the bank when those uh, those uh, pull, uh, p- pick me's out there and start shooting at you? You know, you don't see a lot of people out there, so it's pretty limited uh, when we get to most of these spots. I mean, there's there are some villages and stuff yeah. that have a fair amount of people in them, okay. but uh, you're pretty much far away. When, when you go up these rivers, uh, nobody's way up these rivers. They, they're more the, the local people are closer to the mouths of the rivers usually, and and uh, they they. You know, that's, they use the rivers as their transportation. That's their roads. They don't have roads in most of these places. I tell you, Joe, if I went to Columbia, yeah, I wouldn't be fishing, man. Um, I'd be looking for. That's well, another story. I'd be looking for Mrs. Brandon number twenty, man. That's what I'd be because well, they, there's some they hotties have there, so many boy. Pole Ooh, they don't man. have as many pole dancers there in Columbia, though. Just want <laughs> to mention that. You know, you're disrespecting the ladies wow. in Columbia. Who said they're pole wow. dancers, man? They're just any one of them you see on the street are hotter than hell, man. Okay, so. Well, I, I got a question for Alan. Alan, of so you when you're yeah. out there and you're traveling to some of these places, <laughs> and Eric getting pissed, he's like looking at his watch, all I'm not all man. tweaking. Just, he's like, well, oh, I, I, ask the question. All man. right, I am. Damn. And when you're out there, have you ever encountered, or what's the worst like tribe or group that you've encountered on all your travels? Have you ever been like I've, seriously scared? I've had two occasions where we had not had permission to get on this particular river. We were told we did, and they thought they did, but when we, we went onto this one river once, and when we came out of the river, because the camp was actually transporting to meet us. It was one of these mobile camps that I, that I fished, yeah. and they were coming up, and it took them all day to get where we were, this river we had run to in the smaller boats, 
and fished. We had a great day of fishing. When we came out, we had some friendly uh, village people that were sitting at the mouth there waiting for us, and uh, they were not real happy. Oh, and evidently, you know, the private rivers are private, but they're private when you pay them money. Uh, and and uh, evidently, they had not been paid yet. So they were sitting there at the mouth uh, of, of the river, and um, I couldn't... Uh, uh, they, they, there was eight of us, and, and uh, we had to sit and wait till the camp finally got there, which was, at that time was almost dark. And uh, they were kind of packing and all that stuff. They weren't extra mean to us, but we weren't going to go running any place. Gotcha. So uh, they got it straightened out, and, and, it, and it wasn't a problem there. And I had one other occasion on another river where they stopped us to wouldn't let us come up into the river. And <clears throat> the following, we had to go back to the city we had flown into, the little town. And the next day, I came out there with a big brown bag, and that took care of it. Ah, oh, that's very that. cool. You actually met the, uh, the the band back in the seventies. They had some big hits. The Village People. Back to question. The question. That was, that was great, man. When, yeah. when you when you have to pay them off, you say big brown bag. How much money are we talking about here? Was it like a bunch of singles, like you know, your club money, or or you have to pay heavy money there? Heavy. Well, I you know it was in Brazilian reals, and and uh, that's their currency. And there was a lot of them in there, but I you know of course I didn't look and I didn't borrow any from it either. By the way. And it, it, even if I know Eric needed the money, you know, I, I just couldn't, I couldn't <laughs> do that. Look, man, the clock says we got to shut our oh, face. Okay? Here, we go. Okay. here comes the clock. I, I'm the clock man, okay? But, Alan, have a great trip to uh, Columbia, <laughs> yeah. okay? Will do. Hand out my number to several hotties over there, okay, if you would, please, wow. okay? You don't I mind? I do. I always do for you. Thank you, brother. None of them have called me. You give me. them a picture, then they, they, they turn away. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Good last shot, Al. Yeah. You have the last word, okay? Have a nice trip, and don't come back. Yeah. All right, See you, buddy. Man. See you, dude. Okay, Be well. Guys, have a good one. All right. Take a little break. Come back with Danny Ramos. Danny! Uh, we have the 645 Trivia Tease question coming All up right. for that massive that, bucket of Starbright. That is I. And a whole lot more at Fox Sports 940. Live! Oh. We got Dan Patrick. B. Doug Gottlieb. B. The Odd Couple. B. And Colin Cowherd. Hey, well, what did you expect? I mean, he is the one giving the grades. I'm filing a protest already. Thank you for joining us on Fox Sports 940 Miami. Think of the listeners and the viewers, Fritzy. All right? Stop putting yourself first. The content is solid. We love listeners. A. Available anywhere you are on the iHeartRadio app, Alexa, or on your smart device. Remember the glory days of gasoline? It's just not made the same anymore. the performance in all of your engines. Cure the problems of ethanol with the power of enzymes. And maximize your mileage every time you drive. Kickstart your engines with StarTron. Nothing beats the thrill of extreme kayak fishing with little standing between you and fighting a monster fish. And when it comes to kayak fishing, nothing beats a Hobie with its hands-free Mirage Drive propulsion system. Nautical Ventures is your exclusive Hobie dealer for Broward and Palm Beach. They have the widest selection of models and accessories to make your Hobie uniquely yours. They're rigged by our in-house experts who fish the tournaments. They know what it takes to win. Go to nauticalventures.com to learn more. Nautical Ventures, the go-to people for Hobie. When it comes to kayak fishing, Nautical Ventures knows what you need to catch fish. They carry top brands from Hobie, Ocean, Wilderness, Old Town, Perception, Neki, and are experts in rigging your kayak. They'll customize your kayak with fishing amenities, lights, depth finders, and anything else that fits your personal fishing style. Nautical Ventures has the largest and latest selection of kayaks and accessories in stock. And you can try it before you buy it in their exclusive AquaZone. Go to nauticalventures.com for more details. Nautical Ventures, the go-to people for kayak fishing. Life changes dramatically for a family facing mental illness. In my family's case, I've learned that the voices are real. They're as real as you are to me. I've learned that trying to convince someone that they're not real is just a waste of time. They are real. Over 13 million people live with a serious mental illness like schizophrenia, major depression, or bipolar disease, and the impact on America is devastating. RideToAwareness.org is a 3,000-mile bicycle ride across the United States to raise awareness and funds for those suffering from mental illnesses. So why do the Ride to Awareness? Because there's organizations out there to help. Organizations that provide support groups, advocacy, uh, help. 
Outdoors with crap to Chris Wagner goes, Joe Hector, when is the exotic bass roundup tournament this year? That is April 29th, my friend. Man, you could came out with that really quick, man. Yeah. Wow, you're really deaf. Oh, Danny Ramos is watching. He's on next. It's Danny. Uh, Frank Ferraro says, Eric's shirt has Fishzilla on it. <laughs> leave the leave the jokes to me, Frank. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> Christopher Long goes, morning, guys. Beat up the blackfin tuna yesterday uh, off the ports of Miami. Nice. Blackfin tuna, the fish that Eric hates to talk about. Way to go, Chris. I love blackfin tuna, dude. You, you, you complain about, about it the whole last show. You're like, ah. No, I complain because ah, you never shut up about it. You just keep dragging ah, it out, man. Tuna. Oh, God. You stretch out my clock, man, and make me all panicky and crap because I'm the one watching the freaking break show. Sharing away. Part of my very minute uh, payment on the show is to I watch the clock, am okay, I might add. Sharing away. So, what's your. Whoa. So, what's your thoughts? I don't have any right now. It's too early. <laughs> I'm barely here. On Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> I think he's a cocky locker room uh, upsetter. He just pisses people off and he's okay. a pre- prima donna. Okay. okay. He right. sucks on the State Farm commercials, I might add. Why? Wow. <laughs> he's, he's Why don't you tell us how you really feel about him? Okay. No, all right, here, I'll... Patrick better Mahomes question. is good in those spots, by the way. I can't... I can't, I just, I can't talk to you anymore. <laughs> well, I mean, hey, we have to talk about Super Bowl. We got you know, the damn Kansas City versus Philadelphia, which I'm wah, not happy with. Wah. The Andy Reid ball. That game was so fixed, <laughs> the championship game. I can't even talk. I KC holds, man, more than uh, you and I do. Yes. And let's, we, we do the, during the breaks so and we walk off camera. We're, we're yes. doing some, you know, cuddling or whatever. Right. We, yes. We bond that way. Correct. So, would, y'all need a room or something? I wouldn't put, I wouldn't put a hand <laughs> on that, man. Okay, seriously, dude. Okay. Sharing away. Oh, you know what I forgot to tell you? <laughs> so, this shirt. Oh, ain't that beautiful. It's Fishing's a beautiful day. Now back to the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. This weekend is it. Listen on the radio or watch us on the Nautical Ventures Facebook page. This is some weekend. Now, here's your fishing buddies, Eric Brandon and Joe Hector. Yeah, baby, we are talking fish on a Saturday morning, 17 years. It's ride, ride, just to let it ride. Hey, go oh, I said now, Eric's die. If I lay down and die. That's a bad jam, man. Nice job, Stephen J. Grant. I like yeah, that one, man. That let good. it ride, baby. Let's let it ride. Let's ride on the uh, Blue Dream, shall we? With Let's Captain do it. Danny Ramos. Oh, Danny. Mr. Badass on that brand new boat. He's got a band, the Blue Dream 2. Oh, yeah, man. Which is catching fish ride. like cray cray. Yeah. Danny Bamani. Good morning to you, bro. What's up, guys? Good morning. Well, it's definitely an ugly day, doing? Danny. If I were you, I'd probably pass on fishing today because it's supposed to be really freaking rank. Rank? Rank. Uh, Knowing Danny, he's going that, for bro. swordfish today. Probably. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I ain't going nowhere today, man. <laughs> Good. Uh, my, buddy, my buddy's not going to take a beating today, man. It's, it's taken enough for the past couple of weeks. But yeah. it's been nice this week out there, honestly. It laid down big time this week, and it's uh, had some good good days, some good fishing days. Yeah, it's had to work, had to work. Uh, there's been a few fish around though, uh, a couple mines and stuff like that. But uh, and uh, and your favorite fish too, Joe. Uh, oh, the wahoo! Yeah, the wa- yeah. Talk to me. What do we got? <laughs> what do yeah. we got? Uh, what do we got? Yeah, I got a nice chunky. Uh, I would say upper twenties, low thirties. Uh, and uh, uh, Wahoo on the kite. Nice. On the kite. So, so that was a good fight for the for the customers. Oh, I'm sure. It was um, right right here. Just at the beginning of incoming tide. Uh, we were calling it. Started out a little bit deeper because it was a little cleaner water. And right. man, I heard that thing zing. And I was like, oh, yeah. it would be, be good if it was a Wahoo. <laughs> you know, I was either thinking Wahoo or Tuna. There was no jump, so it wasn't a fail. So I was like... Also, I saw a long, skinny silver thing down the bottom. I go, that's got to be a Wahoo. <laughs> nice. And sure enough, yeah, man, it was it was a good day for them. Did you get them on the color but, change? Uh, 
Yeah. Okay. I'm call her Jane. Well, that's what I've been well, hearing. The drift I, yeah, the drift I started was, you know, fairly deeper than would, you know, for flying the kites. Are. It started like a because where I'm at, at a haul over, we, you know, we didn't, we're not like the down south guys. They get a little bit cleaner water, uh, shallower. So where I was that day, you know, it, it was out at 300. So I was out at 300. And my whole concept was all south and then just do a nice long drift that was coming in and just leave me right at haul over. Okay. Uh, so I started off deep and, and, and worked that color change and figured the incoming tide. You know, starts cleaning up the water a little bit so I can go shallower and shallower. And it was a half day, so it put me right on time where I'd be right there in front of haul over. And, man, it paid off. It paid off. And the sales weren't really chewing that day either, so they shut off. Uh, no, none of the boats I knew were on me. You know, Dean was out by me. All these guys didn't know we really got tight on any, any sales. So it was kind of tough, so it was nice to see that, you know, that wall who pop up out of nowhere and few mahi, you know, there there was a problem. I think I would call like three that day. Oh really? But, you know, scattered. Yeah, very scattered. You know, one here, one there. You know, it wasn't the schools or anything like that. Any um, any size? And, no, the Mahis there was, you know, small peanuts. Nothing, gotcha. Nothing. Yeah, yeah. And somebody sent me a picture, I think it was yesterday. Or the day before, bro, like a 54, 55-pound mahi what? down out of Ocean Reef. That was pretty nice to see a big Oh, there you go. The keys are good. Yeah, Ocean Reef. Wow, yeah. man. Oh, man. Ocean Reef. It's oh, banging man. down there. Yeah. sword fishing. They were out on of, out of the sword ground <laughs> with a bait in the back. <laughs> Can you imagine? You know, You're out there you know. going for swordfish, and all of a sudden, boom, you get like a 55, 56 pound that's mahi. Why you... I turn the boat around and be like, we're good. No, you're Bye. right. That's Bye. why when you catch a swordfish, you throw a couple of free lines yeah. out, hoping something swims by and grabs them, you know what I mean? Yeah, man. But that's a, that's a big that's mahi, a man. That's a, yeah, that's a stud. It's a stud mahi, and, you know, and it's unexpected, too, you know? So you're just uh, sitting there, and you get a stud <laughs> mahi. Probably some, one of the bigger mahis, probably somebody's ever caught before. Yeah. That's oh nice. Gosh. How but, about the sword fishing? Uh, yeah, the sword fishing uh, has been good all week. The, the a couple guys that I know that made it out there, they, they caught them up. Uh, my buddy went out yesterday. They got a nice like two hundred pounder on the buoy. Sweet. Uh, Release another hundred pounder. Uh, but but it, it, it's been it's been like these couple days, and then I heard oh, was yesterday. Yeah, no, the day before yesterday, they shut off. A couple guys went out. Not of mean, at least out of Miami, no bites. But then, and, and then the days before, back to back to back, two guys I know caught them both days. So they're like turning on and turning off. So you just gotta hope that you're out there when they're when they're passing through <laughs> and wanting to bite. Uh, we got this moon coming up now, so yep. Uh, let's see how let's see how they 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 act, man. I, I got a feeling out of this full moon. Uh, February for me seems to be the hot month for that I always enjoy for for sorting. I really I really have a, a lot of luck on my you know my logs that I've right. done well. You know nice. a lot of a lot of large fish come yeah. February. Nice. Well, Captain Ramos, thanks you again, man, for a great report. I'm glad you yeah. got up. Even on a non-fishing day, you got up to yeah. jump on the show. So thank you again, Cap, mm-hmm. as always. Good man. stuff. You bring it, man, every time. Bring it strong. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. You guys have a good one. Take All care, right. buddy. See you, buddy. He's a man. All right. Still a little dive news before the break here. We yeah. have Jim Chiefy Matthew. Jim. Guy goes out there and yeah. dives no matter what the day, did weather, you, whatever, man. Did you send him what no, I sent no, you? No, no, no. <laughs> you send him the what? The coral. The coral. Did you send him that? I did not send that. Oh, come on, whatever, Eric. Man. Whatever. Can he, can, he, can he talk, man? He's waiting on line Sorry, one. Jim. I just, you know, I sent him no. something to send you. So that we can no. talk about it, and he didn't. Okay. So. Hey, Jim. Good morning to you, buddy. Welcome to the show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, listen, we're, no one is diving today that I know of. You, you, you guys aren't even fishing today, okay? Yeah. That's the way it is. You know, right? Yeah. I, I think we have some audio of some people that are that are actually out on the water right now. Now do it. Really? Uh, <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I like that. Oh, All right. Yeah, there yep. you go. I don't feel good. There's some yep. freaking That'll cereal. Be, that'll be me in two up. seconds. Yeah. Okay. Well, the, the good news yeah. is we've had a good week. We've had a good week. This yeah. has been a solid week. Uh, great weather. Actually, the water temperature 
warmed up to a balmy 76 degrees. Nice. Uh, yeah, it's, 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 uh, you know, that's not bad. We're, we're heading in the right direction, that's for sure. But, you know, it's still February, so who the heck knows. But incredible, uh, awesome visibility, uh, top to bottom, uh, a good 50-plus. And then uh, the currents have been really gentle. Uh, okay. We had, a, let's see, on Tuesday we had a north current. On Thursday, we had a South Current, and Friday, we had a South Current. So just, it's been, you know, take advantage of it while you can, because not bad. Now, now that being said, yep. we, we, you know, the lobstering was a little slower for us, and we're just kind of bouncing around now. Uh, we're playing in the second reef a little bit, which is that 45-foot stuff, and it's not been very productive, so... Uh, and even guys off the beach that I uh, you know, know that, that dive off the beach, they haven't really been doing very well. So I think most of that shallow stuff is kind of dried up. But, uh, boy, we hit it pretty well out in the 80-ish. So that's the uh, third reef. That's the east side of the third reef. Yep. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad at all. So, I mean, with those kind of conditions, it's good, you know. <laughs> hey, Jim, what is lobster season in, man? I, I forgot. Oh, March March thirty first. So okay. we've got you know almost up. two months left. Coming up, yeah. And yeah, uh, yeah you know we got to get you some, uh, but but that's uh, we don't want to mess with that, you know. But uh, what oh, I wanted to throw the mysterious out, bags <laughs> you gave to Joe Hector, this, my tales <laughs> to Joe that Joe never gave to what? me. What? Yeah. Uh, what are you can't. talking about? That's a thing that we have. Okay, like that's our. Yeah, thing. it is. It is a it thing is that we have. There's so no you just basically it. skank my bags. No. And keep in the back of your truck. No. And never show up with a set with the bags of lobsters with my name on them. No. Then where do they go? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, no more Dunkin' so, Donut meetups with Joe in my bag. That's our spot, you. man. I hear, I, I hear you. Uh, you know, that was bad. Hey, 5 o'clock this morning, Dunkin' Donuts wasn't even open, the one I normally go to, Joe, there yeah. on 10th Street. Come on, what the heck? Oh, they must have been sleeping in. But, you know? Um, <laughs> they do that. But the reality is, hey, uh, so so a couple a couple things I uh, wanted to pass on. Um, the Billfish, the Cove Billfish Tournament, uh, which was scheduled for today, right. has been delayed for two weeks. So, just I uh, throw that out as because it's a fundraiser for the Boys and Girls Club here in Deerfield, and it's a really fun time. Uh, they put out a, a really good, good spread, and right. guys really enjoy it. The other thing is, I dove on Thursday with Julie Higgs, Julie Higgs, H I G G S, uh, spearfishing. She owns seven world records. Whoa! Of wow! Spearfishing. Oh yeah, nice. that's free diving. You know that that's the only way you can get records. She's the number one female, um, won the Freshwater World uh, USA, and she's on the female USA spearfishing team that's going to be competing in Spain. So incredible stuff. Um, you know, if you get on Facebook, look her up, and she's doing a fundraiser March the 4th up in um, uh, Fort Pierce. That's where she lives. All right. But she kind of, hey, she loves hanging with the Chiefy crew. So she was diving with us on Thursday. And um, all fun, man. She's really productive. Uh, you know, I can always count on her. And here's a, she just posted it. And I put it on my Facebook thing. She caught, this is a good one. She caught a trigger fish with a lobster snare. Whoa. Who the hell can do that? How? Because she's insane. fast. <laughs> Who the hell catch a trigger fish with a lobster snare? She's like a Jedi. Unreal. God. I like to see video. She, is there any video of this? And, like to see and it's video of it. Video oh, of wow. it. Wow. Oh, oh. You, know, you know, Jim, oh. I would receive a video if you were to send it to me. Oh. And I'd send it over okay. to Steven. And we, we put go. it on the show. Facebook drop down. Maybe next week. Well, just oh. so you know. Okay. Can we get this for next right, week? Right. If you send it to me, it'd be on the screen, right. okay? Just like when I send it. Buddy, I'm going to send it to you. I'm going to send it to you. And then maybe maybe next week or, yeah. or whenever you can throw it up there. It is absolutely incredible. She's down there looking for a lobster. Yeah. And I guess for some reason, you know, those uh, gone trigger fish are all over the place. And she goes, oh, this is a big one. She catches it in the lobster snare. Wow. Oh, that's, that's, that's good. And that's skill, I man. ate them that night. <laughs> See, it was great. It sounds was like great. she's got fast hands. <laughs> yeah. She pulled a trigger she's on that very, one, boy. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> <She's pretty laughs> <comes with jokes. laughs> wah, wah. All right, Jimmy, we, we got to rock the clock. Man. All right, but, let me tell Jim real quick. 
Since oh you didn't my, send him the video, yeah, now you got to deal with that. Sorry. Gee, so, Jim, I sent right. Eric a video. Yeah. He's going to send it to you later. If not, I'll get okay. you. I'll send it over to you. But it's a coral that I've grown for seven years. It, it's a uh, really? it's a frog spawn. What I did was I super glued a green frog spawn to a purple <laughs> frog spawn. After seven years now, it's a colony, but the, the colors have combined, and it's like a mix of green and purple now. It's amazing. That i got to show you. Oh, really, that's really worth that's taking all the cool. time on the show for that. Joe. I just I think he would, like, he would appreciate uh, that. Hey, that's really hey Eric, great. Eric, you and I are going to exchange some videos, okay? You know, right, let's uh, do that. <laughs> you, you don't see the videos, I'll send you, man. You really enjoy mine. Oh, that's here we sure. go. All right, we're going to rock, Jim. All right, buddy. Have a great day. Have fun. See you, bye. All right, uh, Knuckleheads, time to tease the Starbright trivia question. Coming up at 745, we moved it at that time because folks are kind of waking up and they go in the Starbright bucket. So did you pull up the uh, question that you uh, you wrote? Hold on. Give them a half hour here. Hold on. Wait, I got to get get to your text messages. All right. Okay, I'm here. It's right here. Okay, I see it. You want to do it? Wait, I gotta find oh it. Oh my god. Wait, 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 hold on. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just, I got it, 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 I got it. Well, tell me what the what question is. What fish is more poisonous than a. Cy- what is that? What fish is more poisonous than cyanide? Cyanide, yes. I can't read. Um, <laughs> is it A, a puffer fish? <laughs> is it B, boss. a blowfish? Or is it C, a lionfish? If eaten as if- sushi and not expertly prepared, it will kill you. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes. When eaten... Should I read it again? Yeah, go ahead. One okay. more time. Sure, why not? All right, trivia again. One last time, guys. What it. fish is more poisonous than cyanide? Is it A, a puffer fish? Uh-huh. Is it B, a blowfish? Uh-huh. Or C... A lionfish. Lion okay. You guys have got the question? If you want to go and be smart, Google it. I'm sure you could do that, okay? Yes. It'll 745, pop up. we'll ask that question, and you can win that great Starbright bucket. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Joe, for taking eight minutes to get that one out, dude. That's <laughs> another serious record. What? <laughs> Coming back with uh, Sean Rolls and Bowser Smith next, Fox Sports 940. Live. <laughs> Years on top, years more to come. It wasn't very competitive. Don't miss a moment of The Herd with Colin Cowherd. Be great at what you're great at. Weekdays at noon on Miami's Fox Sports 940. To catching beautiful fish lies in finding them. Enter Simrad's new Halo Open Array Radar, bringing you more power, more safety, and best of all, more fish. Halo 3000 features an all-new Bird Plus mode, which focuses the radar's full power on finding flocks of birds, leading you to fishing holes up to eight nautical miles away. That's truly game-changing power. For more on Halo, navigate to the radar page at simrad-yachting.com. Remember the glory days of gasoline? It's just not made the same anymore. Kick your gas into gear with StarTron. Pump up the performance in all of your engines. Cure the problems of ethanol with the power of enzymes. And maximize your mileage every time you drive. Kickstart your engines with StarTron. Nothing beats the thrill of extreme kayak fishing with little standing between you and fighting a monster fish. And when it comes to kayak fishing, nothing beats a Hobie with its hands-free Mirage Drive propulsion system. Nautical Ventures is your exclusive Hobie dealer for Broward and Palm Beach. They have the widest selection of models and accessories to make your Hobie uniquely yours. They're rigged by our in-house experts who fish the tournaments. They know what it takes to win. Go to nauticalventures.com to learn more. Nautical Ventures, the go-to people for Hobie. Need a place to store your boat? How about a wet slip with ocean access? One with hurricane protection and a full-service yard? Nautical Ventures Marine Center in the heart of Fort Lauderdale has dockage starting at just $12 per foot per month, the lowest rate in Broward County. Our full-service yard performs all boat works from bottom paint to engine repower to total refits. Coming soon, a new state-of-the-art 200-unit dry stack. Go to nauticalventures.com slash marina for more information. Nautical Ventures, the go-to people for fun on the water. I always wanted to learn Spanish, but I never thought I'd have the time. All right. By the way, uh, just so you know, Jim Chiefy Matthew just stood over that video of, of the uh, diver uh, snagging that trigger fish with a snare. Yeah. And I just sent it to Stephen J. Gray. Are we running it this week or next week? I thought we'd tease it for next week, though. 
Oh, okay. I, I sent it to you if you wanted to use it or not. It's up to you, man, because you remember you're the... Well, he teased it for next week, so... You're the director, man. We're just going to follow your lead. Oh, okay. Boy. Whatever, bro. Well, I'm saying you have it. Okay. Well, I'd rather run it when you guys soon talk about it. Uh, so, uh, streamers are checking us out. James Williams has got us on. Thank you, James. Uh, you made those barfing sounds uh, there, Steve-O, when he was talking about those big what? rollers what? out there. And uh, Nick Brent goes, that's me at Four Footers, Steve-O. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Ah, ah, ah. Right there. <laughs> what what vomiting sounds are you talking about? Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, Robert Sylvius is watching from minus eight degrees in Cape Cod. Oof. Wow. That sucks. Bill Pate's got a song. Thank you, Bill, very much. Yes, Appreciate sir. Appreciate that. Jason Bobby, you're going to go like 40, 50 below. You heard about that, Eric? That's insane. Below where? Below zero, bro. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah. Where, where again? In, in, in New England. Oh, well, it's Bill Belichick's hometown. I hope he frees her oh, ass off. Here we go. Just why are such a hater, man? Make him frosty, man. So I want to shout out a thank you to Josh. He actually is a fan of the show. And I got a... He kind of lives by me. And he Kind of lives by me. Sort of lives by me. Lives by me. But anyway, long story short, I got a package. This was after my... You're catching all the fish. Because you're tuned into the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. Catch all the fish. Two legendary fishermen, Eric Brandon and Joe Hector. Oh, I certainly admire people who do things. Drop the guys a line at 866-801-0940. One ringy dingy. And now, while you drink all the fish and catch all the beer. Come on, pull yourself together. It's back to Eric Brandon and Joe Hector on the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. Time to head to Georgia. See what Captain Bowser Smith's doing up there in uh, ding, Chile, ding. Georgia, up there. Spit through the back of spit there, ding. Ding. Ah, ah. ding. Just, just got me, man, right in the freaking eyeball. Well, there. that's what happens got when uh, you have a shiny forehead. Yeah, it is kind of shiny again. Oh, that's yeah, messing with him. Here we go. Here's the sock. Dab it. There's the old 40 sock. Cap, good morning to you, man. Hey, Cap. Eric, I got a question for you. Sure. Why are you Joe's secretary? <laughs> Why doesn't he directly send the video to uh, not allowed the diver? Not allowed stuff like that instead of having you have to send everything for him. He's the boss. You get paid secretarial fees. Yes, <laughs> I'm just basically his boy. You know that's what it really boils down to. He just says his whipping boy. I, I right? do, boy. Oh, oh. I'm just his, I'm just his office. Oh. I'm his office flunky. It's all it is. Okay. He said flunky. He said flunky. By the way, we don't need to drop that. <laughs> you're, you're a senior officer. Yeah. He's been on the show from the beginning. I 17 have. years. And he comes along and has you as a secretary. It's unbelievable. Very confusing to me. This yeah, guy. That's okay, man. This uh, guy. I got I get plans for Joe later. Uh-oh. Anyway, Bowser, so what have you been doing, man? What's going on this week with you? Well, I'm sitting up here. It's 28 degrees. <laughs> and uh, wow. the other day it rained all day. But, but I really wanted to cover some things for your listeners. It's very interesting. If Jimbo catches a genuine red snapper anywhere, he's not allowed to keep it because he has a charter boat snapper grouper permit. But if you're a private boater and you can catch your red snapper in state waters, then you're allowed two a day all year round. Oh, well, that's a good now, point, here's, man. Here's wow. Something that's more interesting. Red snappers in South Florida, probably in about 200 feet of water to 300 feet of water. So if you catch them south of Governor Cut on your private boat, the odds are you're in federal waters and you can't keep them. They're closed except for two days a year or something like that. Right. But if you're north of the Miami Sea buoy and inside of 300 feet of water, the odds are you're in state waters. And in state waters, a private boat can keep two red, two, two red snappers per person per day, 20 inch fork length or greater. So it, it, and it goes that way up to Palm Beach, and then you get past Palm Beach, and the red snappers get out too deep again or too far from land, and you can't keep them again. But it's very interesting. A little stretch from Miami to Palm Beach, not south of government cut sea buoy. 
but north of the seaboard, we used to have a spot, 283 feet of water just north of Governor Cut, mm-hmm. and we catch red snappers all the time, and they were legal until we got a charter boat snapper group or permit, mm-hmm. and then we couldn't keep them anymore. But just a little bit something interesting. Another that is thing interesting. you need to be aware of in South Florida is the size limits in Biscay National Park are different than the size limits in state or federal waters. So if you go into Biscay National Park, which is basically from Cape Florida south to Ocean Reef, there's different size limits than there are in all the rest of the waters. So you got to go online to Biscay National Park and see their size limits because a lot of them are an inch or two longer than state waters. And if you want a general idea of the rules, anytime you go fishing, you can pull up a app called Fish Rules, and it'll tell you the federal limit, the state limit, uh, the seasons, everything you want to know, except for the Biscayne National Park rules. So, All right. Stay legal. It's a lot better than getting a ticket. Or my sister got threatened to take him to jail because she had a piece of dead coral on a dead seashell one time. All right. And the guy harassed him for two hours. <laughs> For a minor violation, and you don't want that. So stay within the law. It's a lot easier. All right. Cap, great explanation. We got to rock Cap. and roll, man. Great stuff on the snappers and the Biscayne Bay. Yeah. And you always bring something great every weekend. Thanks so much, okay? Thank you. Well, you guys keep up the good work. And, uh, Joe? Yes, sir. Quit using my buddy Eric as a secretary. <laughs> Thank you. Thank All right, you. I promise. Thanks, Only Cap. for you. <laughs> All right, thanks, Kev. It's going to Sean Rawls, man. He's rolling, baby. Sean. Man. All Captain right. Captain Sean, Sean, Selfish Smackdown 2023 winner, Rolls. Baby. What's up, Sean? <laughs> What's up, guys? What's up, man? Well, listen, it's nasty, Sean. I don't even think you're brave with this kind of crap today, are you? No, no, I'm not hardcore enough for this one, but... Yeah. You are hardcore, man. I mean, not much stops you from fishing, yeah. bro. You know what I mean? Yes. And I, speaking of hardcore yeah, and fishing, I, try, but... I need your SIM card, Captain Sean. <laughs> Ain't happening, Joe. <laughs> anyway, so, Sean, have you fished this week, brother? What's going on with that? Did he hang up? Sean? I think his SIM card just fell off. <laughs> Sean. We, we, we lost Sean, man. He was right in the middle. He uh, kind of rolled out. He was, he was, he was in a big... Get him oh, back. He rolled out. How cute. Oh, that was actually pretty good. Yeah. He rolled out. Well, Steven's a radio guy. He's like me. Extremely witty. Okay? He thinks on his feet. Okay? Right. okay Please don't go, put me with you, wait, Eric. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Come on, man. I brought you some freaking pretzels, bro. I mean, you oh, wanna, okay. You want a food you wanna, bribe. The, wanna, that, the dirty food bribe. Where are those pretzels at, man? They're brand... I just bought them last night at Publix, bro. They're brand freaking new, dude. All right, all right. All right. Thank God you. God almighty, Thank you. man. I promise not to rip on you for at least this hour. It's 6.57 right now. Sean <laughs> is back. Sean, okay. Sean? Sean, welcome back. Phone drop out. Yeah, I'm back. We okay. lost you. All right, bro. So, uh, question yeah. was, have you yeah, fished this? It's good weather, I'll tell you, man. It's yeah. phone screw up. Anyway, so what's uh, the fish uh, bite thing for you this week? <laughs> I mean, there's been some wahoo caught, some sailfish. It, there's actually been a good push of tuna coming in through lately. Oh, tuna. But I want to tell you that one thing I did yesterday is I had my first chance ever to use an electric reel. Oh, oh, there you man. go. There you go. A hooker? And I never had the boat, and obviously with a kayak, I don't have an electric system. So a company called Real Battery came out with a battery okay. that will power all the electric reels. Great company. They and are a help boat in the tournament, yeah. just so you know. Okay. Yeah. Sponsor. And I got to use this jigging reel. And let me tell you, if, if you even remotely like jigging, you'll love using it with the electric reel. If you don't like jigging, you'll probably like jigging now. But it was probably the one of the funnest ways of fishing I've ever done. What was, what was so cool Joe about knows it? me. I'm not going to be. Uh, well, it was fun. It was neat. But I could fish twice as much as everybody else on the boat. All right. Everybody was sitting down tired. Like, oh, I don't want to jig anymore. I'm tired. And I was. I didn't break a sweat yet. That's awesome. Yeah. How cool, man. Yeah. yeah. And. I, I did this for about two hours yesterday, and the battery still had 100% when I was done. Nice. And it's, just, it's just something new and neat, different way to doing things, and I'm excited for the uh, springtime bite coming up here. I think it's going to be awesome. 
What yeah, is this I, for I like a toy chest, Joe? A toy chest uh, unveiling that. What, what's the show? price point yeah. on something like that, Sean? So you can get the battery backpack charger full combo for three hundred and fifteen dollars. Oh, that's a deal, man. Yeah, that's a dealio. Yeah, mm-hmm. in the world of fishing, you got to you got to compare it yeah. to like. This this will give the kayak guys a way to get out there in deeper waters and have an electronics on there. This will give the small boat guys a way to do it. And it's a lot cheaper than putting an electrical system on your boat and a lot less to deal with, too. Yeah, I yeah. agree. 100%, man. If Sean Rolls endorses it, man, you know it's going to be good. Yeah. Okay. And listen, Sean, and yeah, he was, I haven't he was talked about, about it until I got to try it and... Yeah, and I was one of those guys. I'm not really going to use this. I'll try it, but man, I love it. I can't wait to get back out there. Yeah, and I and I have to say, Sean's not one of those guys that's going to just like promote something. If he says something that he likes, if if, if oh, you're yeah. listening to the show, he likes it. I mean, unlike you, that you promote and shill everything. Correct. He's thank the opposite. You. Thank the God, Eric. I love oh, your shirt. Thank God, it's an amazing shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Right, I think everyone like should wear that shirt. I never pick on Joe about the Eagles. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so we're going to rock the clock, man. So uh, that's great news, but you caught a few, caught a few fish this week? I mean, uh, what'd you boat? What'd you bring the boat? Oh, no, no fish. Just had fun. Oh, okay. Okay. Kind of experimenting with brand yeah, yeah. tackle. No, we'll, we'll call it a pro- product testing day, you know? Oh, okay. We're really trying to catch fish. Let that's me a- a good story, right? Let me ask you, though, Sean. And I think we'll both agree here. Do you think the blackfin tuna bite coming up this spring is going to be epic? Yes or no? I say yes. 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 And the blackfin tuna are here right now. It's just real, real early morning insane, or man. real late in the day. Have you seen They're some here. of the big They're ones just... being caught, like jumbos? No, all the ones being caught are big ones. I know, man. This early? I mean, Eric, yeah. this is Yeah, awesome. there was a kayaker out of Dania Beach yesterday. He got two black blacks in at 5 o'clock in the morning, and then it had a doubleheader sailfish at sunrise. Oh, oh man. Outstanding. So, I mean, there's fish. There's definitely fish being caught, but yeah. All right. it's just you got you to put the extra work in there and get out there early. Yeah, man. Well, Sean, thanks again, man, for checking in. Always great uh, talking to you, man. You're the hardest chorus dude on the show. Nothing yeah. ever stops you. If the weather is uh, keeping it from fishing, Joe... He's the barometer of not going out. If Sean ain't going, 100%. you ain't going. Okay, hundred percent. Bottom line, man. Yep. All right, agreed. Thank you, Sean. We love you. All right, thanks, guys. See have a good one. Seven o'clock hour coming up around the bend. We have a fun show with uh, Captain Benny coming up on the program. Ooh, Norm Beckoff's going to be here. Uh, Seven thirty of Jan and Deb. Seven forty-five, Joe. Don't blow this again. What? Bro. You have a trivia question for the Starboy Bucket. Got it. Okay. I got oh, and it. don't forget, you got the toy uh, twist coming up too. Toy, toy chest. Toy twist. Toy, toy twist. <laughs> what was I see it again? Toy, toy, toy twist. The toy, toy twist. twist? He had a little lisp to it too. It's like toy Stop. twist. <laughs> toy twist. All ahead here at Fox Sports <laughs> nine forty. Good morning to you. Live. <laughs> W-I-N-C A-M Miami. W-Z-T-U F-M H-D-2 Miami Beach. Available everywhere with the iHeartRadio app. Now number one for podcasting. Fox Sports 940 Miami. Remember the glory days of gasoline? It's just not made the same anymore. Kick your gas into gear with StarTron. Pump up the performance in all of your engines. Cure the problems of ethanol with the power of enzymes. And maximize your mileage every time you drive. Kickstart your engines with StarTron. Is your boat properly insured? When's the last time your agent called to discuss your policy? We're People's Insurance Underwriters, and boat insurance as you know it is about to change. We understand how the right insurance agent can make the difference in getting your claim paid or not. Our agents are lifelong boaters whose focus is on service, reliability, and savings. We can make a difference in your boat insurance. To learn more, go to thehappyboating.com. People's Insurance Underwriters. Insurance for boaters, by boaters. South Florida fishermen know that this is blue water country, where big fish, big water, and big expectations sit right offshore. So we build blue water boats for the blue water fishermen, where yacht grade construction meets 21st century technology. And compromise? Well, we leave that for the other guys. You can customize your own blue water boat by visiting bluewatersportfishingboats.com and discover why boating is better on a blue water. Life changes dramatically for a family facing mental illness. In my family's case, I've learned that the voices are real. They're as real as you are to me. I've learned that trying to convince someone that they're not real 
is just a waste of time. They are real. Over 13 million people live with a serious mental illness like schizophrenia, major depression, or bipolar disease, and the impact on America is devastating. RideToAwareness.org is a 3,000-mile bicycle ride across the United States to raise awareness and funds for those suffering from mental illnesses. So why do the Ride to Awareness? Because there's organizations out there to help. Organizations that provide support groups, advocacy, help to those families that need it most. Help us reduce the stigma for those who suffer from mental illness. Donate, sponsor, join the ride. Visit RideToAwareness.org. That's Ride to Awareness. All right, guys, we got about one minute. Your support. Join our ride and donate generously. Together, we can make a difference. And now, another no-brainer money-saving tip from Progressive. It looks like your luggage is over 50 pounds. Is there anything you can take out? Oh, yeah. Let me just toss all these $20 bills. Great. Let me grab you a trash can. Stop. Instead of throwing money away, move some clothes into a carry-on. And here's a better tip from Progressive on how not to waste money. Don't pay too much for car insurance. Drivers who switch and save could save hundreds. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Potential savings will vary. Today on Hey Culligan, smooth skin. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Thanks, Joe, for that story. Uh, tell me later. All right, so um, Keith. Oh, boy, I'm going to blow this in here, man. Ocean Sean. Yo, Keith. Ohazian. Ohazian. I think Keith is a big uh, Simrad guy. Oh, uh, I like that, man. Yeah. A lot of guys are just saying uh, where they are. A lot of guys are out of state, man, in very cold weather. Like uh, Richard, freeze your ass off Hector. Uh, please do. Why are you guys arch nemesis? I, I think he just wants to be me. <laughs> that was a great one, man. Oh, man. He just wants to I be, hope he heard that. He just wants to be me. I, I don't blame you, man. You know? Wow. It's time for the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. Me, there's nothing better than to spend all of my time out on the water. With waterman Eric Brandon. Because that's where I get my kicks out on the water. And extreme angler Joe Hector. Hey, it's my residence. Call your resident fishing experts, Eric and Joe, at 866-801-0940 and get hooked up. You know what we be spending our weekend. Want to see the show live? Go to the Nautical Ventures Facebook page. Don't waste my time or a single dime on something high and dry out on the water. Big 7 o'clock hour is here, man. This show's flying by. Holy moly. Bro. Oh, yeah. Man, hour number two is going right now. Got the uh, Mad Benny, Captain Benny. Where's the Benny and the Jets theme? We always well, we have the radar theme up right now because the radar is so bad today. Uh oh, yeah, it's looking pretty wreck, man. It's got green everywhere, man. Luckily, it hasn't really shellacked us yet. But the skies are gray, bro. Oh, the offshore, it's really, really bad. Yeah. And you said you wanted to talk about Captain Benny. Oh, the Benny. Yeah, on, Benny. I said. And his jets. He's a Raider fan. Sorry. <laughs> He's not a Raider fan. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Benny, good morning, brother. How you doing, man? Benny. How's it going, guys? Oh, man, you know, a little, little gloomy day down here in South Florida. We had a few charters. We had to cancel everything for today. Oof. But uh, it's part of the business that you got to deal with, you know? Mother <laughs> Nature doesn't always work with you. Yeah, man. Every captain so far said they are not going out today, Benny, including you. Yeah. Okay. So I, I made the right move. I don't know. I was questioning the morning <laughs> trips here. I think we could have gotten a four-hour sail bite. Probably would have been decent with the north wind. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, we didn't but take a chance. I, I don't think anyone's out there. Today. I don't nah. think you want clients barfing on your contender or yeah. CV deck. That's for sure. <laughs> you know what I mean? All right. I knew that was yeah. coming. Uh, hey, Benny. How's yeah. the uh, how's the blackfin bite? Because we were just talking about it. It's it's looking pretty epic, man. Yeah. So I mean, it's starting. You know. Starting to show up a little earlier, not like springtime months yet, but down south through the Keys, you know, Isla Mirada from Key West up to Isla Mirada, they're getting a pretty good run right now, better than we are here on the southeast coast of Florida. Yeah. You know, this time of the year for the wintertime, we'll pick at a few that are starting to pass by. Um, but yeah, that, I mean, we're not seeing huge numbers yet. We're seeing a couple decent fish here and there while we're, you know, as bycatch while we're sail fishing or if we're trolling for Wahoo, we'll pop a fat one here and there. Right. Um, I know we've seen uh, 
Doug over at the uh, American Made Fishing Charters over there. He got a couple bigger tunas this week on the yeah. troll with his Wahoos. Saw that. So that was uh, nice to see. Still got some Wahoos around. Mm -hmm. Got some nice tunas around. The sailfish have been pretty solid, but it's like, man, we're not getting the numbers like we have in past years, but there is a little more consistency mm -hmm. right now than there has been in the past months with them. You know, maybe this week we got another front coming through between this front today and another one later on in the week. You know, maybe we'll see some bigger numbers with the sales. We're seeing the guys maybe a little south of us and a little north of us put up a few more numbers than us, but that's usually pretty typical for for uh, this time of the year. Yeah. I mean, I, I agree with you. I, I don't know what's up with the sales. I, it's just not, it doesn't seem like it's been that good for the past couple of years, I feel like. Yeah, I mean. I mean, it's you know, not bad. A good runs. Yeah. Well, not bad. We did have those runs, though, like, you know, if you follow the sail tournaments and you look at their their stats and what these boats are releasing and what it takes to win a tournament, there's some days where you know in the two-day tournament it's going to take 20 fish to win. Right. And there's some days where you know in a two-day tournament the winner's only going to have 10 lucky fish. Right. Yeah. You know, so looking at some tournaments over the past few months, you could see a pattern that it doesn't take much to win right now, a sailfish tournament compared to past years. For sure. Right, right. And what about, uh, yeah, what's yeah. going on with uh, kingfish? We haven't really heard anything about them. From yeah, so actually they've been trickling through pretty decent. You know, um, this time of the year, I always say we get the bigger kings out deeper passing by as opposed to like the spring months where we could circle in 90 to 120 on a school and pick off like 10 of them in a, in a little while. Um, we're, we don't, we're not really seeing that at all, but we are seeing the bigger fish passing by out a little deeper, um, even, you know, a lot deeper than usual. We're catching big kings out between two and 300 feet right now. Gotcha. So, you know, okay. but you're still catching them on the reef. You're getting your, your typical king bite on the reef. It's almost like you could catch a kingfish year round down here. Right. You know, between all the wrecks we got and the water passing by so close to shore, you know, we're lucky with that to be able to pick off a lot of species here on the southeast that are just moving by year round, you know? Mm -hmm. All right. Very cool. Nice. All right. So, when the weather yeah. settles down, uh, Benny, what's the best way to get on board your two super cool boats there, my brother? Yeah, for sure. When the weather settles down, check us out at bennysfishingcharters.com. You can give us a call anytime at 954-706-6565. Once again, that's 706-6565. Benny, do you sing or something on the side? Are you like a singer or something? Your voice is always uh, uh, come no, Saturday morning. Know, it's funny. Since... <laughs> <laughs> since, I've been, since I've been doing with this show with you guys, I have been a little on the raspy side. I don't know what it's been. I think I you know, so nice lost you my voice a few months back, and it like never came back. You, you know, know, the guy's up and trying to talk about the show. What? And you pick up his voice, break it up. I wasn't picking on him. I was raspy. asking a legitimate question. Now you're picking. You said he sound raspy. Well, man. I know, he does, I know, he does, does sound. He important. does sound a little yeah, raspy. I'm concerned. I know I, Benny. Okay? I think Benny sounds great. You two guys are idiots. Oh gosh. Okay, Benny yeah, sounds just fine to me, man. Okay. Yes. All those right. piano songs he has to do, you know? Yeah, he watch, could be singing. Why don't both of you guys just quiet down? Benny, you sound great, man. You're the man. Thanks so much, bro. Have a we great love weekend, you. okay? All right, guys. Y'all have a good one. We'll talk to you soon. <laughs> See you, bud. By the way, he so, put uh, some sailfish so, video up. He sailfish. put some sailfish <laughs> video up uh, this <laughs> week. Did you see that sailfish? <laughs> you do, back. do you watch his post at all? No. I do. But uh, let me go back to this again. So, uh, how come you, you sound raspy uh, on the show, Benny? I he didn't does. say that. that I asked him enough. if he sings You don't treat our guests that way, man. He's my friend. Of course I treat him You don't have any friends anyway. Yeah, you're right. He's okay. a he's a, he's a associate. Good, no, he's a friend. You don't have a friend, Joe. You're my friend. Barely. Can I get a hug? Uh, not a chance. <laughs> Come here. Come here. We're taking a little Give break. Me a hug. No, don't you get near Can me. Can I touch you? I will smack your ass with this bucket, okay? <laughs> Y'all need a room. Come on back here with uh, Captain Norman. This hour of the bucket for the good stuff from Starbright. Joe will attempt... I mean, I will say a tent. I got this. To put out the question without taking Would nine hours. Would you give him like a half hour notice so we can get the question ready? At, yeah. at least. Okay? I got this. Coming back to you here at Fox Sports 
9.40. Live. Now. Boom. Bang. Car payment. Groceries. Mortgage. Gasoline. Life ah! is expensive. But we're giving you a shot at $1,000 every hour with Inflation Compensation. Powered by Demesman and Dover Law Firm. If you or a loved one has been in an accident, call your accident attorneys at Demesman and Dover Law Firm for a free consultation. Available 24-7 at 866-954-MORE. That's 866-954-6673. Demesman and Dover. Your accident attorneys.com. Power without compromise. Welcome to Simrad NSS Evo 3S. Designed for all-out speed and performance. The fastest processing and chart rendering speeds. With seamless network and integration. Plus powerful sonar support from coastal to offshore. Now at the lowest price ever. Save up to $1,100 on NSS Evo 3S. To build your perfect fishing system, navigate to simrad-yachting.com. Remember the glory days of gasoline? It's just not made the same anymore. Kick your gas into gear with StarTron. Pump up the performance in all of your engines. Cure the problems of ethanol with the power of enzymes. And maximize your mileage every time you drive. Kickstart your engines with StarTron. Nothing beats the thrill of extreme kayak fishing with little standing between you and fighting a monster fish. And when it comes to kayak fishing, nothing beats a Hobie with its hands-free Mirage Drive propulsion system. Nautical Ventures is your exclusive Hobie dealer for Broward and Palm Beach. They have the widest selection of models and accessories to make your Hobie uniquely yours. They're rigged by our in-house experts who fish the tournaments. They know what it takes to win. Go to nauticalventures.com to learn more. Nautical Ventures, the go-to people for Hobie. South Florida fishermen know that this is blue water country, where big fish, big water, and big expectations sit right offshore. So we build blue water boats for the blue water fishermen, where yacht grade construction meets 21st century technology. And compromise? Well, we leave that for the other guys. You can customize your own blue water boat by visiting bluewatersportfishingboats.com and discover why boating is better on a blue water. Without the ones like you, who work tirelessly to keep things running. All right, back to the Facebook streamers. Uh, guys are just checking out the show. Good morning, guys. Happy Saturday, well, Mike it sounds like Savage. it's raining out there. Uh, it is, yes. Drops are falling on our roof here. Oh, Thanks, my. Dude. Thanks to the overhang, dude. Uh, Gordon Zernich. Hey, hey. Richard Hector's still talking about my crack and just saying I'm definitely pretty much <laughs> off, my, off my rocker, okay? He's right, okay? Uh, ba, 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 da, beep. Uh, shoot. Okay, that's weird. Norm's not answering his phone. That's very strange. Uh, ba, ba, Dave Nauman. What's up, Dave? Mike DeLeo. What'd it be? Robert Sylvia. Yeah, I'm going to do it right now. Or right after the break. Hear the rain? No. Oh, yeah. Hmm. I hear the raindrops. So, yeah, real quick before I get cut off, I just want to say thank you, Josh. Thank you for the shirt. Uh, Josh is a veteran. He listens to the show, and I really appreciate it. I love it. it fits good. Yeah. What? Oh, the shirt you're wearing now? Yeah. It's from a fan. Wait, is Josh the guy with the S shirt or no? No. That's okay. a, another fan of the okay. show. Oh, there he is. This is another fan of the show. Sent that over to us. He's wearing his Simrad shirt. Point no, out. very cool, man. Yeah, man, oh, from New Jersey. I'm liking that, man. We got more Jersey guys. Look at that. All right, Norm is back. We had a little issue with the phone. Good morning, guys. Uh, happy Saturday. I like to see that. Yeah, man. Good shot of the, of the shirt. Keith. Actually, your dad sent me that. Uh, did you see it? I got that last night. Oh, yeah? I got that way before you did, yeah. Yeah. D dad and I were chatting. He sent me the sad, the sim red shirt. You guys night. chat like every night? We have a thing going on, man. It's a kind weird. of love-hate thing. Weird. Hey, weird. You're talking about your dad, dude, talking to me. Is it talking to me? It's weird. I didn't sleep at all last night. I didn't sleep well last night. Because lately I've been losing sleep. Don't you go to sleep? I can't sleep at night. It's 
It's hard to sleep on Friday night thinking about fishing on Saturday. It's the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. I can't function without my coffee. To talk fishing, call Eric Brandon and Joe Hector at 866-801-0940. Coffee is ready, sir. Listen on the radio or watch us on the Nautical Ventures Facebook page. The Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. Man, oh man, this show is just zipping on by. Yeah. I can't believe it's just rolling through here so fast, man. Wow. His name is Eric. Every time we do a song, you got to sing. That's your new shtick now is singing every time, time we come back on a break with My a song. My name is Joe and I'm on the show. His name is Eric and he's got to go. And I'm st- about to do my question because I know I like it so. And here we go. How and about his singing this? really blows. Stop singing, mofo. <laughs> Here's the trivia question. All right. We have Norm Beck off waiting on line one. Don't ever make Norm wait. He will get pissed off. <laughs> and he will deck you, okay? Norm loves me. Yeah, he does not. Yes, he does. On the finest kind. It's our finest kind man, Captain Norm Beck off, everybody. Norm, good morning to you, brother. Hi, Norm. Hey, good morning, guys. How are you? Good. We have raindrops coming down on the Stephen Dre Gray palatial overhang here, man. Uh, what you seen up in Broward County? You got rain yet? Oh, yeah. It sucks. <laughs> That's a great forecast. Yeah, yeah. it sucks. It sucks. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Norm, we chatted last night. Uh, hit and miss. Better than the last weekend report we got, right? Yeah, a little bit better. Uh, you know, the, the, the still... A, Still, uh, uh, you know, a few sales around. Um, uh, the wahoo fishing picked up just a little bit. There was some nice fish caught this week. Uh, a few kings in on the reef with some bonitas in mixed in with them. And uh, the black fins in the afternoon have been biting pretty decently, too. You know, some small to medium-sized black fins. So, you know, not, not too bad. Not too bad at all, you know. Nice. There you go, Joe. Yeah. He, he told you about the Blackfin report. You haven't got to ask him again about how the Blackfins have been. He just gave it to you. So that way you can take that question off your plate, okay? Why do you hate Blackfin tuna? I don't hate it, but you just what keep, is you, with you, keep that? Pa- you keep pounding them all it's the time, just man. so odd. He just gave you the r- r- report. It's weird. So you got to ask him again, okay? So I, just, I, I think know. the two of you ought to just go get married. <laughs> <laughs> I know. So Blackfin are biting. Joe's happy. Okay, he's all yeah. jumping around over here. How's the okay? bottom fishing? Um, this there were there was several millions and some uh, uh, some months caught this week. Uh, okay. Not not real stellar, uh, but we did have we did have some good uh, we did have some good current some good south current. So uh, I I would expect that the bo- uh, the bottom fish and if you really stick to it and you know you could probably get some good fish. Nice. You hear that? Well, yeah. Why don't you ask him? What do you, what do you think of that? I was going to ask, uh, why don't you ask about the Wahoo? Because that's what it be next anyway. Can I? I, I Can I it's, ask it? It's him? coming up. I just say it now, man. Is I it just, okay? I, I know you're going to ask it. Is it approved? It. You're going to ask it, so just do it. Okay. Norm? <laughs> Did he hang <laughs> <Joe>. on? <laughs> How are uh, the hey, Wahoo? How hey, are the Wahoo? Hey. Well, they're, 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 the, you know, the Wahoos are, the Wahoos are Wahoos. <laughs> I mean, you know, they they're. There's some decent fish up there. If you really are going to target them, though, you got to be out there like at daybreak, like right at first light. Right. L- let me read his mind, yeah. Norm, and ask you this one. This will be Joe. Uh, any size to him, Norm? That's a good question. <laughs> All over the place. Small, mediums, and larges. <laughs> All right. What depth? Die. That was next. <laughs> yep. What depth? There it is. I knew that was Kelvin, man. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. <laughs> There it is. Uh, you know, I mean, the, the Wahoos are going to be all over the place. They're going to be from the reef out to about 300 uh, feet. Guys. Okay. And final question. Oh, there's more? Yes. Of course there is. So Eric's favorite fish is, as we all know, amberjack. And <laughs> if you're having a slow day, you're not getting uh, anything. Not I know some captains like to go out there and tangle with them. Uh, how is that going with the ages? Um, the world. A few amberjacks. It's not. It's not. The amberjack fishing really kind of takes up more or less in the in the springtime. Yeah, uh, we should Sorry, start Eric. seeing some amberjacks moving back up on the you know on the on the wrecks. Uh, you know, in March is okay. that's, that's really when the amberjacks take up. But anytime, anytime the fishing's really slow, yeah, take a big, you know, a, 
a live bonita or a jig or a uh, a blue runner is a good bait uh, and send them down on the you know send them down on some of your favorite bottom structure you know your wrecks your reefs that kind of thing there we go. you know what of all the fish to ask about man, why would you ask about how the amberjack bite is I'd rather say like Norm how's the golden tile bite who the hell cares was, about who cares about there. amberjack who cares about you amberjack do. I you do you love amberjack give a damn about amberjacks it's man it's your favorite fish <laughs> they're screwing with my spinal fusion oh here we go okay here comes the spinal fusion talk here it's yeah. Hey, uh, hey, Norm, I'm, Eric's got a bad I'm back. I'm telling you guys, I think you got to get a nice little house together <laughs> and just make a life of it. We, we'd both be dead in a day, okay? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be a double, double uh, uh, bad day. Anyway, Norm, find us kind doing well. How's the boat coming along, man? Yeah, it's doing fine. I'm going to put a new fuel tank in it next week. <laughs> oh, my God. Is that oh, a, man. Is that a fun job, Norm? It's called cutting open the deck. And yanking out the yep. tank and all the other, you know, stuff to put it back in the new one. And, gee, I don't envy you on that one, bro. That's a chore, bro. Fun, man. Yeah, that's, a, that's, that's major surgery. <laughs> that is major surgery, man, for sure. That's and major, real quick, real that's quick. That's hard surgery. And, uh, Norm, your son's getting into the charter business, right? I saw your post. Yeah, man. Yeah. How, how's that going? He's it's going really well. He's learning the ropes and literally learning the ropes and, uh, uh, you know, learning boats and just, you know, starting from ground zero and he's just doing a great job and he's enjoying it. So, I mean, that's just a, a win-win situation. Awesome. That's cool. Well, yeah. I see Norm's next replacement when the show comes rolling along and Norm decides he was, he's tired of talking to us. He just have the, the sun jump in and pick it up where he likes. And he can play guitar so he can uh, yeah. accompany the music back. Oh, he, play a little song. No, he does that and Joel starts singing and the show will never have any content, okay? <laughs> Believe me. <laughs> anyway, Norm, thanks so much, man, as always, brother. You are the man. Thanks, Norm. All right, dude. See you later. All right. All right. So we're getting closer to the Starbright giveaway. Hopefully, Joe will have that uh, all figured out. You want to just tease it one more time? You can do that. Okay. Yeah. You want to tease it you now? You want me to do it now? Yeah, why not? Oh, Te sure. Tease it real quick. Okay? Hey. Oh, no now problem. you have to go back to your phone. I already no, have No, I got it right here. Ready? Okay. Ask oh, the question. Oh, look at that. All right. So tease the question one more time, Joe. Right, here we go. So, right. what so. fish is more poisonous than cyanide? That's a is it A, a puffer fish? Is it B, a blowfish? Uh -huh. Or is it C, a rawr, lionfish? So this would be actually, actually if you eat this fish, All right. this could cause paralysis, de death. Death. Yes, destruction. Okay. Within seconds. Right. Seconds. If, if it's deadlier than cyanide, yeah, you're right. That is going to just kill you after the first couple of bites. Cyanide, it, it kills you, what, within like 10 seconds, like, right? Pretty could fast. this fish cause yeah. you to. Yeah. Oh, my God. That would be before you uh, fall over dead, yeah. So yes. that's a, okay. a happy, happy question. Talk about death and fish. That's a great question, Joe. Thank you. Good job working on that one, baby. <laughs> Take a what? little break. We'll come back with uh, Jen with the weather. She's back in town. She's been Jen. traveling with the kids all over the place, okay? Yeah. Captain Deb from the Keys coming up. And again, Joe's amazing Starbright question ahead here. Where? Fox Sports 940. Live. Live, baby. Some say he only needs one name. Colin was fascinating today. Others may feel he needs both. But if you ask him, you may just get this. Ow! It's Colin Cowherd, and you can listen to The Herd. That's a really cool program. Weekdays at noon on Fox Sports 940 Miami. He's here. Really? He's there. Coward's brutal. He's everywhere. Hey, Colin, love the show. Thanks. He's Colin Cowherd. He's on a absolute tear. He's different, and it works. Remember the glory days of gasoline? It's just not made the same anymore. Kick your gas into gear with StarTron. Pump up the performance in all of your engines. Cure the problems of ethanol with the power of enzymes. And maximize your mileage every time you drive. Start your engines with StarTron. 
When it comes to kayak fishing, Nautical Ventures knows what you need to catch fish. They carry top brands from Hobie, Ocean, Wilderness, Old Town, Perception, Neki, and are experts in rigging your kayak. They'll customize your kayak with fishing amenities, lights, depth finders, and anything else that fits your personal fishing style. Nautical Ventures has the largest and latest selection of kayaks and accessories in stock. And you can try it before you buy it in their exclusive Aqua Zone. Go to nauticalventures.com for more details. Nautical Ventures, the go-to people for kayak fishing. Need a place to store your boat? How about a wet slip with ocean access? One with hurricane protection and a full-service yard? Nautical Ventures Marine Center in the heart of Fort Lauderdale has dockage starting at just $12 per foot per month, the lowest rate in Broward County. Our full-service yard performs all boat works from bottom paint to engine repower to total refits. Coming soon, a new state-of-the-art 200-unit dry stack. Go to nauticalventures.com slash marina for more information. Nautical Ventures, the go-to people for fun on the water. I always wanted to learn Spanish, but I never thought I'd have the time. Then I discovered Babbel. Babbel's lessons are fun. They only take like 10 or 15 minutes, and in three weeks, presto. Yeah, I had the world's worst paint job on my FJ Cruiser. I would uh, definitely like to talk about them on the show, but i got to worry about uh, lawsuits, so I won't bring up their name. Uh-oh. Eric's uh, cranky. Auto Paint USA. Uh, Nicholas Bilt. Auto Paint where? <laughs> Uh, dude, great question. He knows the answer, okay? Oh, this is great, Joe. What? Nicholas Beltran goes, what's up with the jacket, Eric? Well, I'm actually wearing a hoodie, okay? It's a jacket. And Joe replies, he's just weird. I actually just wrote, he's weird. That's... That is such a what? testimony to how much you really, truly despise me. <laughs> you could have had my back and said, you know what, dude? I did. He goes, you could have said, that's a really a badass, you know, hoodie. But you just happen to say, I... he's weird. <laughs> but see, what you realize is the fact that when you put crap like that on the stream, I can see it too, okay? I can I see your comments, about, I okay? I forgot about that. Okay? I thought we were still in that phase where we didn't see each I can other see that. your disses to, about me right there on the screen. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay? Sorry, not sorry. You probably did it intentionally just so I would see it, just to get a rise out of me. Sometimes I like when you get like all riled up and. By the way, how many times did Norm said you all need a room or, or, or <laughs> quite a no, few? Get a house or a house, a whatever. House. Same thing. Yes. A little house. Yeah. If you and I were in the same home, it better be as big as Tom Brady's <laughs> mansion. So I got to see your ass for a week, okay? Oh God. You ever seen this house? One of Brady's homes. Yeah. It's, it's what money could buy. Yeah. It's a gigantic. Zillion square foot beast. See, I, you know, I don't get that. If I was rich like that, I wouldn't really care about like the size of the home. I just want it to be like cool, you know. Like, yeah. I probably still live in a ranch, you know. But just, a house that big, I mean, it's just too much. It's man. too much, right? right? You got the wife, you know, down the block. You usually have some yeah, kind of intercom system to find out where weird. she is. That's weird, right? Yeah. I, I don't you know. know. I, I don't get that. I, I take it actually. I wouldn't. Know. Would you really? Having a butler and a maid, you know, bring me my breakfast in bed, stuff like that. What's wrong with that? Those okay. poor people. Having a personal masseuse come uh. by in the morning and rub my feet. What was uh. his? What would his name be? <laughs> <laughs> Stephen J. Uh, no. Oh, oh, no. Uh, oh no! Stop! Yeah. Okay. Funny yeah. boy. Uh, when I get done, by the way, I hope you enjoy your pretzillas. Yeah, we're going to go up there. We're bread going bites. to a place called Croom to go ATV riding, the best place in the in uh, Florida to go Today? riding. Why don't yeah. you hold up your gift, Joe? Your little uh, snowflakes. I got you that puffy yeah. pink thing, See, man. For my birthday, Eric got me snowballs. Wake up. Wake up, friend. Waking up to the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show with expert troller Eric Brandon plus extreme angler Joe Hector. This is more than we bargained for. To talk to fellow fishing fans, call 866-801-0940. It's the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. Well, 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 she's back for her world travels with the kids and hubby. Oh, yeah. Our great dear friend Jennifer Gray Warren. Best weather caster on the planet, baby. Oh, yeah. In the universe. Hi, and Jen. Be, and beyond. Hey. hey. <laughs> I wish I had better news for you this weekend. It's going to be right. <laughs> 
Jen, we are in the rankness as you speak. Uh, yeah. The raindrops are coming down as you speak. And you're right. It's going to be rain. rain. It's really funny. I picked these days. I detailed my FJ Cruiser yesterday. That was smart. I got all that great uh, shiny stuff on the wheels. Yeah. Gave the truck a great shine. And Paint that job. was pretty damn dumb. Yeah. No, yeah, thanks. Yeah, it <laughs> yeah, always happens. <laughs> that so, normally just happens with other people, but yeah, that uh, happens. I like, I'll admit being an idiot, idiot okay? Anyway, uh, an so, yeah. Jen, we have a front coming through. Is this why the weather is so cruddy or what? You, it's more like you have high pressure building off the coast. So There's just um, strengthening the east winds like crazy and just kicking up the seas. So you're going to have 70% chance of showers and storms today. Ugh, uh, wow. Most cloudy, under 74. East northeast winds 25 to 30 knots with gusts around 35. Jeez. Along the yeah, along the coast sees six to nine feet, occasionally 11, and the Gulf Stream. Sees eight to eleven, occasionally fourteen, building to eight to thirteen with what? occasional seventeen in the afternoon. Can you that's, believe it? That Damn, crazy. <laughs> that's like yeah, deadly <laughs> stuff, man. Wow. I, said, yeah. I don't think I've ever seen it that high, like outside wow. of a hurricane. Uh, tomorrow, 70% chance of showers and storms, partly sunny, high near 78. East southeast winds 20 to 25 knots becoming south to southeast in the afternoon. Seas five to eight feet, occasional ten, subsiding to four to six, <laughs> occasional eight in the afternoon. Uh, intercoastal waters choppy. Um, in the Keys, as be, uh, better luck with the seas, but it's still nasty with a sixty percent chance of showers and storms. Partly sunny, high near seventy-seven. Uh, north winds twenty knots. Seas two to four feet. Near shore waters rough. Once you go offshore, of course, those seeds are going to build like crazy. Um, Sunday, oh, 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms, mostly sunny, high near 81. East and southeast winds, 10 to 15 knots, seas 2 to 4 feet, subsiding 1 to 2. Near shore waters, light to moderate. In Florida Bay, windy and, and nasty storms. It's just gross. <laughs> <laughs> oh, y'all. Ah. You know, we've missed you the last couple of weekends, Jim. We finally get you back, and you bring the gloom and doom weather forecast, bar none, man. This is the ultimate I rank. 20-foot right. seas, and it what looks, the hell, man, you know? It'd probably look cool from the beach. I would think, yeah. It's you know what those 20-foot so. seas sound like, right? What? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> That's for sure. Hey, Jen, before you go, I saw some uh, Facebook photos. You took the kids, what, uh, out in the snow skiing somewhere? Where'd you go last? Yeah, we were in uh, Steamboat, Colorado. Um. Um, it is such a good place to... To especially learn. Uh, we go to a weather conference out there every year, and so and that's everyone's like, bring your family. So it's super family friendly, kid friendly, and the boys learn to ski. Uh, they're famous for their snow. They call it the champagne powder snow, and nice. it just is like I can't even describe how soft and fluffy it is. It's insane. Mm. So wow. it's fun. I wonder, Big Jen, time. on those conferences, how many hours do you guys spend on uh, dissecting spaghetti noodles that come up every hurricane season? <laughs> <laughs> This particular conference, we spend about two hours in sessions a day, and the rest of the time you play. So. Oh, nice. Gotcha. I want to go to one of those. All right, man. Mm -hmm. Well, Jen, thanks so very much, as always. Although it's rank, uh, it's real. So thanks yeah. so very much. All thanks, right. Jen. Yeah, you guys have fun. Have a yeah. great weekend. All right, thanks so much, kiddo. Let's go to the keys, Joe. Let's do it. Why don't you bring her on, man? You have that suave way we're bringing on. Hey there, lady. Captain Dev. How are you? Hey there, Captain Dev. Yeehaw, boys. How's it going? Oh, I got a good one. Did you hear that? Yeah, you got a good one, dude. Wow. Deb is going great because you're on the show. You're bringing the sunshine on this rank day. Yes, she is. You always bring the sunshine, girl. Of so course. Welcome back to the show, my friend. Yes. Well, thank you for having me this morning. Um, yeah, it's um, it's a little blowy again this morning, just like I was last week. And just like Jen said, it's just blowing its butt off. I like the sound of that. It's blowy. <laughs> yeah. It's blowy. Uh, I tell you, she, did you hear some of the sea heights she had mentioned? 18 to 20? I mean, that's, that's some insane, that's some dangerous stuff to be stuck in. So, I, man, ain't nobody going offshore. You're taking the dinghy out of that. Take, no. the, take the duffy out of that, Stephen. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, my prayers are with the people that are fishing the Isla Mirada Women's Selfish Tournament today Ooh. and tomorrow. They did not cancel it, so... Well, I decided Man. we decided um, as a Team Makara to pull out at the last minute because of the seas that's going to happen. So 
Those people have my prayers for sure. Do you know how many uh, boats are still involved in it and registered or any of that? Have they posted? I don't. Last time I looked, there was 25 boats in it, so I'm not really sure okay. how many boats decided to... Um, but this is a great tournament. You know, it's tournament season here in the Keys. We do have one on Wednesday called the Poor Girls, which is... Uh, it looks like the seas are going to be a little better, but it's still going to be a rough one. Um, but, yeah, it's it's been... It's definitely we're having to fight the weather and the south current, like uh, Norm mentioned. So we did have a south current there for a couple of days, and that kind of turned off fish a little bit, but it did fire up the sailfish again. Um, not in a tailing condition that we had the previous week, but we did have, you know, we did see a lot of banner days, four, five, six, eight, ten sailfish this week Oof. for some of the boats. That's sweet. So yeah. definitely that bite's been turned on. We are seeing, um, Joe, we are seeing some of those bites in tuna in the afternoon. Nice. Um, oh, there you go, Joe. Tuna. You know, the afternoon bite. So there you go. Thank you, Captain. And, of, yes, and the Wahoo bite's kind of turned on a little bit. Um, uh, Mimi and I and, and the team of Kyra went out and uh, we went we went Wahoo um, hunting yesterday and we managed to hook up one and uh, had Wahoo tacos last time. So. I saw that. Yeah, that was yum, a nice yum, one. Yum, yum, man. Yeah, yeah man. Wahoo tacos, baby. Has it been uh, kind of spotty though in general, or is it still strong? Well, you know, if you kind of look back to your fishing logs that you're supposed to be keeping, if you're fishing as much as I am, and you look back at your dates. February is one of our worst months for fishing. Mm. And it's like this every year. And it's always usually in the beginning of February. And then we'll come into March and then everything will start. The spring stuff will come back and the and the trees will start blooming and, and then everything gets happy and then everything bites again. But as a fisherman, I get frustrated this month and a lot of my colleagues and a lot of my other captains that I fish with, we all get frustrated because this month has been one of those it's just February just does not. It's rank. Yeah. It's rank. Yeah. It's rank. There yep. we go. Yep. There we I go. I was talking to Norm last night too, Deb, and he goes, you know, January, February is just really lousy fishing overall every yeah. year. It's the same thing. Yeah. It doesn't really change very much. I concur. Yeah. yeah. You, you concur? Although, yeah, although, I have to say on my feed, you know, I am seeing some nice blackfin and wahoo. I mean, I just saw Captain Deb's wahoo. So, I mean, it, it seems... I mean, there are fish, yeah, there are fish out there. Definitely, there are fish out there. But it, it, this time of year, January, February, it's more of of quality instead of quantity. Right. So, you know, you are catching some nice fish, but you're not catching the quantity that we usually hang on those racks either. Sure. So, I mean, that kind of... And then, and then you turn around yourself, and you're like, for the last two weeks, three weeks, and you're like, well, why not? I'm catching, what's wrong with me? Is it something I'm doing? And you start questioning yourself as a fisherman. Yeah. And then you go out and you and and you just try everything. You try everything. You pull your bag of tricks out for that January, February bag, and you're like, okay, well, we'll just go try something we didn't try before. Right. And, and that's kind of what you have to do. The mutton snapper bite has turned off a little bit. I have seen a you guys catch here and there, yeah. but the shark bite is absolutely stellar right now. Mm. Why well, is that good or bad? I mean, who wants sharks uh, around I mean, the boat? I, I don't know. Agree. I, I, yeah, every time I put a live pilcher and, and um, <laughs> you know belly hook it and send it down, I catch a tag gum shark. Man. I'm just you know we are. If you want to go shark fishing, boy, you got to load up. Yeah, you know, just, it's, you know, if you, if you can't beat them, you uh, might as well start join them, right? Join them, man, yeah. catch them, right? What the hell? <laughs> Have fun with it, right? Yeah, we're going on a shark fishing day. Hey, hey. Hey. shark charter day. Yeah, hey, there hey, you go, uh, Captain Deb. You're gonna need a yeah, yeah. boat. <laughs> yes. Hey, I got a good question. So, how about the mahi though? Because I, from what, uh, who told us it was a fifty-five pound? What was that, Norm? Uh, Which somebody captain told us fifty-two pounder. Yeah, yeah, somebody caught one in the keys that was like fifty plus pounds. Well, I can tell you what. Yesterday I was out. Um, I found a weed line in. I think it was like five hundred feet of water. Um, right. And then there was another weed line in like sixteen hundred feet of water. And there was probably I don't know twelve or fifteen boats on the same weed line. And nobody that I heard on the ready, and nobody that I kind of talked to on the phone caught any mahi in either one of those weed lines what? yesterday off the keys. Yeah. But I did manage to pull a wahoo off of it. So, you know, when when the when 
you know, the dolphin aren't there. You just got to drop your weight. You got to drop down to the fish. You got to come down to them. So, right. you know, it not, it's not a surface bite this time of year. That was a great photo, by the way. That, that, I call her a little weehoo off the back of your boat. But what a pretty fish that was, and, though, Deb. Yeah. And that's a, thank you. And that is actually a photo kind of a thing. That fish weighs 25 pounds. You know, what? Because, but here, the way that the fish is, That's is, weird. is um, the way I have it, the camera angle on it. Um, yeah. So, I mean, we got a lot of stakes out of it in that fish that, uh, you know, Mimi's holding up to the same fish. Well, and as you can see, that's how camera angles work. I got to yep. teach you the Eric Branded technique of holding fish for a photo. <laughs> yes, pop Okay. Up. You take your arms and you double extend them out towards the camera, okay? Oh God, they look brutal. gargantuan, bro. Okay. We know, Eric. We all know. We all. Everyone knows how you do that. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. You Joe. got the arms, huh? No, actually, I was folding the fish kind of in half just to make the stripes come out just a little bit more because those zebra stripes in the sun, yeah. especially after you catch a fresh one right there, it is the sure. most gorgeous thing you've ever seen. So yeah. that's what I was trying to do, get that. And it ended up looking like a wee and I'm like, <laughs> and then everybody online's like, oh, it's a wee it's a wee and I'm like, I don't know if a wee is 25 <laughs> pounds. I mean, yeah, I want to yeah. go catch one at 50. Yeah. Right. But at least it's not six pounds. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Deb, we got to rock the clock here, kiddo, but hey, have a great weekend. Yeah. Stay dry and stay on that damn snot That's, offshore, okay? Yeah. thanks, Captain Deb. Kick butt, baby. All right. I think I'm going to go chase a peacock bass this weekend. That's about all. Yeah, there you yeah, go. There you I'll go. talk to y'all soon. All right, kiddo. All right. Yeah. All right, it's Starbright right. Bucket but, Time. It's Starbright Bucket Stuff. Now, Stephen J. Gray put oh. a great video. He put a great video, by the way. He did. Online. No way. Redoing his Duffy Boats, him and his buddy. And he was showing how the rust stains were around on these things and how quickly it took it off with a rust remover. Right. And how great the product worked. Uh, it wasn't like an endorsement. He was just saying, hey, audience. This is how great this stuff works. You know what happened? We were here. And it we, was really cool to watch, Yeah, man. we had all the stuff on the boat, and they're like, whoa, 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 whoa. We have a Starbright book it in here and start whipping out the stuff. And like, oh, my gosh. very cool to watch, Thanks, man. man. Yeah. All right, so we have a Starbright bucket full of every product you name for your boat. When you pick this box up at Nautical Ventures, it's huge, okay? Yeah. Joe, so, it's on it. you, man. Let's do it. Ask the question, brother. Ask. All right, here Axe. we go. Here is our trivia question. Yo. What fish is more poisonous than cyanide? Ouch. Is it A, a puffer fish? Is it B, a blowfish? Or is it C, a lionfish? My man, there we go. So, basically they're saying if you were to eat these fish, right? You're dead. One of these three could kill you in seconds. Right. It's the deadliest thing to stick in your face. Yeah. Man, okay. Yeah. If you guys caught Fun. that question, by the way, nice job. You didn't screw this one up, Joe. Yeah, thank you. First tray. Yeah. Great. I did it for you. Thanks so much, man. Can I get a hug now? No. Okay. 866, I'll give you a piece of this fish, though, that we're talking about that would kill you. Sure. 866-801-0940. Okay. Ah. Again, okay, so Joe just asked you, uh, this fish is deadly in cyanide. If you eat it, okay. You're dead. Uh, puffer fish. Blowfish or lionfish? Live! 866-801-0940. Fox Sports 940. Win it right now. Let's do it. Call do us. It. We'll talk about Boom. it. Boom. He runs from no one. Who's the hardest guy to guard? I'll take him. The Herd with Colin Cowherd. Dominating sports talk every weekday. Weekdays at noon on Miami's Fox Sports 940. Is your boat properly insured? When's the last time your agent called to discuss your policy? We're people's insurance underwriters, and boat insurance as you know it is about to change. We understand how the right insurance agent can make the difference in getting your claim paid or not. Our agents are lifelong boaters whose focus is on service, reliability, and savings. We can make a difference in your boat insurance. To learn more, go to thehappyboating.com. People's Insurance Underwriters. Insurance for boaters, by boaters. Hear that? That's the sound of confidence. The sound of confidence brought to you by Nationwide Battery. For over 30 years, boaters and fishermen have counted on Nationwide to fire up their engines, to keep their electronics going, week after week, year after year. They have the largest selection of batteries at the best prices. With dockside installation available, if you count on your boat, then count on Nationwide Battery. Visit them at nationwide-battery.com. Nationwide Batteries, the sound of confidence. 
Nothing beats the thrill of extreme kayak fishing with little standing between you and fighting a monster fish. And when it comes to kayak fishing, nothing beats a Hobie with its hands-free Mirage Drive propulsion system. Nautical Ventures is your exclusive Hobie dealer for Broward and Palm Beach. They have the widest selection of models and accessories to make your Hobie uniquely yours. They're rigged by our in-house experts who fish the tournaments. They know what it takes to win. Go to nauticalventures.com to learn more. Nautical Ventures, the go-to people for Hobie. Today on Hey Culligan, smooth skin and soft hair comes from where? Here's Mike. Hey Culligan, I've tried every conditioner. But, uh, but, but, so a couple of guys on the Facebook stream decided to uh, tell us there what the answer was as opposed <laughs> to calling the phone number. Oh, which it, I, could, I That I, won't get you a prize. I ask you guys kindly to please call the number 866-801-0940. A couple of guys have put out the uh, uh, the answer of uh, being a puffer fish. And uh, let me say this to you. That's wrong. Yeah. So it's either going to be a lionfish or a blowfish mm -hmm. that is deadlier than cyanide. Come on, guys. If call you, in. If you eat it the wrong way, okay? If you guys ever watched uh, John Wick in the scene where the Japanese uh, chef slash killer samurai is serving up the lady who's the whatever the hell her title was. No. You didn't catch that scene? No. Can you uh, explain it? Well, anyway, uh, he knew that serving it to her could kill her, but she was so trusting that she ate it and did not die because he was an expert preparing this particular species of fish, okay? Right, so he didn't try to kill her? No, he was just testing to see whether she had enough bravery to eat it. Gotcha. And she just picked it up, chopped on it, and lived. Would you have eaten it if I would have cooked it? I wouldn't eat a steak if you made it. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Oh, boy. I will say, though, when you pull up that day of doing the banana eating contest versus uh, blackfin or, okay, uh, that was really good, tasty, okay? So you're sure that it's not a puffer fish, correct? 110,000%, okay? Okay, I'm just asking, because, because uh, what? Because, no, I'm just asking. You're sure? We have a winner on line one, okay? okay? All right. He knows what the answer is, okay? And don't ever challenge me on knowing what the hell I'm, I'm asking. I'm not. Okay? I'm just asking. I the research questions. these questions okay. very carefully before right. I put I'm them just out there asking. to the planet. Now, a lionfish would hurt the hell out of you if you get stung by it. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, the other fish would be kind of hard to eat. Puff, puff, daddy. That'd be kind of tough. Puff daddy? Did you just say? Well, we said puffer fish, blowfish, and lionfish. Okay. Okay. So anyway. we have a caller? Yeah, he's let's, holding on line right, one, let's man. Get him, let's get him on. Okay. Don't <laughs> don't tell me I'm wrong, man. I'm not. I'm not the one that's saying that. I'm just asking. Well, by the way, you have to be the one to ask the question, so if there's any problems with the whole question... Oh, crap. So I you're catching all the fish, because you're tuned into the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. Don't catch all the fish. Drink all the beer. Two legendary fishermen, Eric Brandon and Joe Hector. Oh, I certainly admire people who do things. Drop the guys a line at 866-801-0940. One ringy dingy. And now, while you drink all the fish and catch all the beer. Come on, pull yourself together. It's back to Eric Brandon and Joe Hector on the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. All right, on line number one, we have the winner with the correct answer, Greg Thornton. Oh, Greg. Of those three fish yes, that could kill you, deadlier than cyanide, what fish would that be, my friend? I believe it would be the blowfish. You are correct, my brother. Whoa. Yeah. It is the blowfish. Right. What happens is if you don't prepare that properly as a sushi restaurant uh, expert guy. You die. Uh, you take a bite, you can die within seconds. It'll kill you. It's okay? amazing. So that was a very happy question. I've actually, I've actually eaten it before. Oh, as as sushi makes it even better. Wow, yes. no kidding, man. Were wow. you nervous? Um, no, not really. I, I heard that it makes your it was, mouth tingle. It was in Japan. Wow, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> it does. You hear that? Wow, man. Anyway, dude, let me ask a question. You got a boat? I do. What are you driving? Uh, it's a uh, Hughes Redfisher 18 foot. Nice, man. You know I sell those boats? Did you know I happen to sell those boats at my job every day? Really? You do? 
I do, yeah. Shameless so, plug, shameless plug. Plug, plug, well, why not? plug in. Anyway. Plug. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so quality, you got a boat. quality, quality. Awesome, man. So pick up your bucket at Nautical Ventures after the show or during this week. I'll call you after the program once Eric gives me the number. Yeah. And uh, we'll get you on that bad boy, and you can have a fine time shining up that beautiful boat you got there, brother. How'd you hear about us, oh, Eric? Excellent. I heard, actually, a neighbor of mine across the street, um, Paul, actually um he's a boater as well and he told me about the, your show cool he had called in one time and won and told me about it and um <laughs> you know it's not all the time i'm i'm up this early to um uh, listen to your show but um i'm actually on my way to sebastian right now so i got been listening on the radio my wife and i are on our way up. Hey, well, just nice. th- thanks so very much, my friend. Honestly, gosh, we yeah. love you on the program. Yeah, definitely. Thank you, and have a great day, and enjoy shining that bad boy you got there, man. Thanks, enjoy. Eric. All uh, right, we got to squeeze you. out the toy chest right now, Joe. The clock is rocking, man. Right, so let's, let's do it. Open that bad boy up. Toy chest this weekend. Something very cool, man. You ready for this one, Joey? Mm-hmm. It's the Wave Shark Jet Board. This thing is badass, man. 37 mile per hour top speed. Think about that. The fastest on the market, Joey. Wow. Zero to top speed in three seconds flat. Super long battery life. Over an hour. The longest in the market, okay? Damn. So see the video that Stephen J. Gray yeah. is rolling, and you'll see how cool it's called. The Wave Shark Jet Board exclusively for you, my friends. Where? The toy store of all toy stores. Nautical Ventures. Get you hooked up. West Palm Beach. Hmm. Broward County and five other locations across the state. They're growing faster than weeds, man. Yeah. Final wrap with Joe. we got like less than a minute left, so uh, good stuff coming up. You have your yeah. kids' uh, camp coming up real soon, which is great. Yeah, we got our kids' camp uh, coming up March 20th to the 24th. Spring break, so get your kids signed up. Yep. We got a lot of fun stuff going on during that kids' camp, and it's great for the future of the sport and kayak fishing and everything. And just so people know, it's not just a kayak fishing camp. It's for all types of fishing. There you go. Yeah. we got to wrap it up, man. The clock's we got out here. Eric, back at 940. Thanks for what you do, man. Stephen J. Gray, thank you, brother, man. Joe Hector. Hey, Always Joe. great. Jousting as always, man. Yeah. You want sports talk all day? The one and the only, baby. Keep it here. Yeah. Fox Sports. 940. Live, baby. Aaron Rodgers to the Raiders. Let's go! Get out. Any great-